Yeah, message for Pat Phelan. It's Owen Armstrong here, getting the distinct impression you're avoiding me. Ring me. Drop in at the yard. Send a carrier pigeon with the cash. Just pay me, Pat. What is it with this purse? I had a ten and a twenty in here on Wednesday. Faye, I've not given you any dinner money, have I? Oh, I wouldn't expect an answer from her. How many kids you do to photograph the breakfast? Grace had pop tarts. He bought Joseph a T-shirt. Too cute to his she said. Yeah. Nice love. Okay. Um, you give Pat feel in 30 days. 43 days ago. Is that the first time you sat down today? Yep. Dad, are you doing tea in this trap now? Muggins. Well, why don't you let me do it? Make it a proper family business. Ah. I'm sick of being skinned. Come on, I can answer the phone. I can file receipts. Can you bully a cowboy to pay his debts? Love half the workload of a builder is dealing with agro, okay? Chasing subbies, chivying labourers. It takes them on their brass neck, which is why Tina was so good at it. I can be tough. If you say so, pass some salt, really. Is that it? Or some pepper doll, if you like. Interview over. Why are you texting me? Well, the only way to get your attention these days. I'm messaging Grace. She saved me a seat on the bus. They're just passing Balaclava Terrace. You're not going to wait with me, are you? Well, I thought I might sit and wait until the bus comes and give you one of those proper big goodbye hugs. Go to work. <sighs> Go. Go on. Oh, <laughs> Anna was just sending me to check you got Faye out of the house. Oh, really? Wasn't it back in there until I have a bit more faith? My, you'd have to get it to make me a baking bar. Oh, cheek. It'll only take five minutes. Yeah, she's dead busy. Roy's taking Ailey out somewhere nice before a scan. We'll offer to help, then. Oh, no, it's too much responsibility, that. What, taking orders and handling money? Sure I can go? You weren't serious about wanting a job with me, were you? Oh, come on, love. You've got a job in. And anyway, you spend more money on childcare than you'd earn. And he needs you. Go on, red sauce. Yeah. OK, keep the change. Not a bad rate for two minutes, Laura. Mm -hmm. I love you. Two minutes. I know I didn't do well at school, but it's not because I couldn't. It's because I wasn't interested. Well, you could go to college. I don't want to. I just don't think it's fair for me. Dad's treat me like I'm thick. He knows you're not thick. Do you know what? He laughed at me when I first asked him for a job. And now he's saying I can't do it because of Josie. Well, that's daft, because some of the admin stuff you could do while he's with you at home, and I can mind him when I'm not here. He'll still say no, but I'm not capable. Well, Tina managed it. Yeah, well, according to him, Tina was tougher. So get tougher. If you want the job, you should make him listen. There you go, darling. Mm. Wants his bam. Mm. You should get an assistant. Don't make it easy for him. Yeah, if you could get back to me on this number ASAP, it'd be much appreciated. Thank you. Bye-bye. What are you, Butty? I'm going to die of starvation. Drama queen. I'm going to hit me thumb of the hammer because of low blood sugar. Sausage and egg. Uh, a kit. Oh, not much a change out of five, love. You know, you were right about Joseph. I was right. Well, that's not something I get to hear much. But I couldn't take a job that meant I couldn't mind him. Exactly. Right, and is that the only reason you wouldn't have me working here? Not that like you don't think I could do it? Oh, of course not. I was just teasing you, love. You could do this standing on your head. Good. Right, I'll start today, then. Hey. Look, it's like Anna said. I can do some of the admin from home. And she can have me if I need to be here. She's minding him now. It's only part-time, any road. Katie! And I will not be standing on my head, by the way. Not for the wages you pay. Are you going to be long, darling? I need the table. You were right in the first place. Who was? Me dad, I'm not clever enough. Oh, nonsense. If he's been managing it, it's just... It's dead complicated. You should have given it to someone with better maths. <sighs> Something smells good. Hey! Oh, not you. Go and get a shower. <laughs> How's my new office manager doing? Uh, see? A job title. Reckon you should be asking for more money. Uh, I'm too thick for this. Nonsense. That's what I said. Right, look, there's three invoices here, yeah? All day to July. And at the bottom, it says, due 14 days from date, our interest may be charged. Mm. And three weeks later, the same invoice, but it's not in red of anything and there's no interest added. So, is that the same invoice or a different one? Because it still says due 14 days from date. And then this one, here, where it says feeling... Yeah, well, I'm, I'm getting the feeling, love. Yeah, let me see the mothers. I, just, I know there's a system, but I just can't get made around it. Yeah, well, it's not you that's thick, lovey. It's your dad. You should have chased these up, not just resent the same bill. How 
much. Yeah, look, I said I'm dealing with this one, all right? Feeling's a shark. Oh, go and get your shower. Mm, I reckon your dad needs you more than he knows. It's not maths he needs. It's a good kick up the bum. <laughs> And then Katie pitched up with a bottle of pink wine, so I made myself scarce. I don't blame you, mate. I should steal clear for the duration. Uh, don't worry, I intend to. Listen, do you uh, fancy clear over the road later on? Yeah, I'll get me uh, visa stamped. Oh, that is so unfair. Oh. Have you ever told you you can't go to the pub? No, not in so many words. The looks are usually enough. Then there's the size. Oh, please don't mention the size. Oh, do you know what? You two will be wearing that oh. in a minute. Well, I'm pulling your leg off. Mmm. Look at this, Mum. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Unless feeling coughs up, it might be the last decent meal I have for a while. Yeah, well, I'll have to cough up, cos you can't just afford to write it off. Well, tell me something I don't know. Thick end of four grand. Anyway, I've got some mates putting the feelers out, find out what his game is. What do you think? Maybe we should pop round and jog his memory. Well, I've toyed with the idea. Uh, you can stop that right there, because you're getting too old for them games, and he's got a record. Look, I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah, well, you can think again, because I'll not be visiting the pair of you inside. <laughs> All right, missus, knock that on the head now. I'm waiting for Grace to text me back. I sent her loads of messages, but she's not replying. Yeah, well, you'll see her in school tomorrow. But I want to speak to her tonight. She's been deafing me out all day. So why are you chasing her? Duh. She's my best mate. Uh, what's she told you? Right, come on, turn that thing off. But what if she doesn't like me anymore? Then it's her loss, isn't it? I mean, come on, if this is how no, she is, then yeah. you're better off without her, aren't you? How? She's well cool. I don't know what I've done wrong. Nothing. You know, Grace seemed nice enough to me. I'm sure you're making them out and out of a molehill. Go on, up and do your own work. <sighs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, sweetheart? Chances are it'll all blown over by tomorrow. And if it hasn't, then you know what? Gabby's right. Stuff her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, I'm glad we had a boy. <sighs> well, I won't be crowing just yet, because if it's anything like you, you'll have more than your fair share of sleepless nights. What's wrong with Faye? Oh, she reckons her mate's ignoring and not answering her calls. Well, I might wish my mate had done the same. He's just got back to me about feeling. And? Up to his old tricks, apparently. According to Clive, he's declared himself bankrupt again. So you won't get paid? Love, I'm the little man at the end of a very long queue. If there's anything left, the Inland Revenue will get first dibs. I'll not get a penny piece. Also, he's done this before? Well, so Clive reckons. He racks up the debts, walks away, and then starts up again with a new business. He's not the only one that does he? How'd you get away with it? Well, you take your conscience out of the equation, then it's just a matter of filling in the right forms. Well, I'd rather be straight, me. I'm glad you are, too. Well, that's what we're saying out when we can't pay the lucky bill, love. Oh, guys? Yeah, cheers, love. Huh? Yeah, keep the change. Get you. Lots of the big spenders. Me all over, generous to a fault. <laughs> I don't think your workforce agrees with you. Well, I'll prove it. The office's still open. If you and Tommy want to move back into the flat, I'll have to charge rent, of course, but I'm sure we can work something reasonable, huh? Reckon? All right, well, uh, I'll have a word. Cheers. Okay. So, uh, is this a good time to ask for a rise or what? No, if I mean, well, listen. Just can't afford to keep that flat empty, not the way things stand. Right, so if you don't get this feeling money, should I be worried or...? No, no, it's not that bad. I'm just laying on a bit thick earlier. You all right, then, eh? I am for now, but any more jokes like feeling and I see it won't be. I can't let it get out that I'm a soft touch, otherwise every chance of this side of Manchester will be turning me over. What are we going to do about it, then? Hmm. Legally, we can't touch him. What, should we just let him get away with it, do we? Laugh in our face? Yeah, pretty much. Mate, it turns my stomach just thinking about it. He knew exactly what he was doing. He had never had any intention of paying. Well, he needs sorting out properly, then. Oh, yeah, and how do we do that, eh? You heard what your mum said. Well, it never stopped my dad, did it? Him and Uncle Len used to get out to all sorts. Yeah, and where's your dad now? I'm not messing things up with me and Anna for feeling's sake. Oh, yeah, but you're right. We can't let him get away with it either. Look, if, if we do anything about this, it stays between us, understood? Of course, yeah. Right. You got any ideas? All right, now. Nothing that'll get me less than 20 years in jail, no. But just let me mull things over, OK? Okay. I've rung him, texted him, emailed him. Who? Pat Phelan. Oh, look, mate, I've told you, there's no point messing with these sort of people. You know, I'm beginning to think you're right. Listen, love, can you, uh, can you go and get us a cup of coffees? Can I have something as well? Yeah, yeah, just, you know. Yeah, go. I know you don't want me listening. <sighs> Can't pay because he's been declared bankrupt. He could have been declared dead and buried. I'm still going to get what he owes me. Not doing everything by the book, you know. No, no, I'm going to give him one more chance. I'm going to, I'm going to find him. And I'm going to tell him to his face what I think of him. Well, don't want me to come with you? No, no, it's probably best if you keep out of this, just in case. I want those invoices. I need to take them with me. Hiya. Oh, there you are. Have you just had a text off Ryan? 
should I have? Because uh, I have, saying he's off to a beaker to live there. Oh, all these? Look, you say you don't want me to come with you. Call you if I need backup. All right, well, just don't go mad, yeah? Go mad? Mate, I'm starting off mad. Mad is the best he's going to get. Dad, I've got your coffees here. I want time, love. That's no, all right, I'll have to. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, I've got an ace when he's going this morning. Hey, do you reckon it's because he's heartbroken after you finish with it? He's not got a heart to break, that one. Feeling's wife? Yes. Owen, the builder. Oh, of course. Only when I converted this place, it was supposed to be a travel agent's. Not anymore. No, I can see that. So is he here? Pat? He's not, no. Where's he hiding? I beg your pardon? Only I've bills and he paying. Yes, and I have a customer here, as you may have noticed. If you want to talk to me about Pat, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait. Well, no offence, Lord, but I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to him. Well, as you can see, he's not here. So, you can either go and look for him, or you can wait until I've finished with my client and I'll talk to you then. See ya. Bye. So... Your husband owes me the best part of four grand for the work I've done in this place. Join the queue. Oh, I bet I'm not the only one. Dead right, you're not. Well, so he thinks he can get away with it by declaring himself bankrupt, does he? Not declaring himself, no. The courts did that. Ah, oh, right. Well, so easy, like, down and out now, is he? Hasn't got two eight meters room together. Or is he still living in that big fancy house and driving that flash car? Well, he's still living in the same house. Oh, I bet he is. Which is in my name. Car is as well. Yeah. Everything except his debts, eh? How it works. So what's all this about, then, eh? A nail bar, what happened to the travel agents? Went bust. He's had a lot of bad luck as Pat. Nothing compared to what he's gonna get, love. It's not a lot of fun going bankrupt, you know. He's had to show him he's got no assets. Oh, come on! Yes! If you think it's that easy, then you try it. I would, love, but I've got a bit more self-respect. Well, I hope it's enough to live on. Because you won't be getting any money from him. Not a penny. Where is he? Might be at home, might be out walking the dog. I'll find him. Oh, when? Your wife told you I was coming in, did she? Yeah, and that you were after some money. Hey, aren't we all? I don't get smart feeling. If I was smart, Owen, you'd have had your money ages ago. Trouble is, I'm not. Here, look. Look at this. Bankruptcy order issued against Patrick James Phelan. It's no joke. I've lost everything. So why I get an house like this if I go bankrupt? It's in the wife's name. I don't own a thing. I'm not allowed. Are you denying that you owe me nearly four grand? I've told you. Are you denying it? No. And I really want to pay you. Good! Can't, though, can I? Well, raise some cash on this place. Owen, I'm bankrupt. I'm not allowed to borrow anything. Nobody would lend me anyway. What, you think I'm going to walk away and forget about these? I'm really, really sorry, mate. Don't call me mate, all right? I'm not your mate. Last time! Are you paid me? Last time. I can't. We'll be talking about this again. Very soon. So I says to him, do I get an house like this if I go bankrupt? I didn't even bat an eyelid. He says, oh, no, no, the wife, the wife, it's in the wife's name. Dad, I've done everything you told me to do. Can I go to town with Steph? Yeah, yeah, go on. Um, you haven't got an app on your phone that shows you what the weather's like in a beach, have you? No. Come on. Yeah, but he's not getting away with this time. Well, it seems like he already has. He's a con man, right? Yeah. And he owes me money. Does he or does he not owe me money? Yes, yes, he owes you so money. So I am within my rights to go back there and take whatever I can get my hands on up to the value of what he owes me, yeah? Hmm. I reckon so, yeah. So would I. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Hmm. Come on. Mm. Do you do, like, menu at the cafe? A menu? Just thought me and Grace could, like, Spend some time thinking about what we want for lunch. Then I could text for our orders and, like, save time. 
But, Faye, it's a greasy spoon. And anyway, you should be concentrating on your lessons, not gabbing to Grace all morning. You should be gabbing busy mates again. No, I'm glad you're back talking, just not all the way through double maths. Ready? Yep. Right, we're off now, love. See you later. Owen. Owen, yeah. you won't do anything daft, will you, about feeling? I never do anything daft. Come on, Casey. Ciao. See you later. Bye. Shy. Avoiding us more like. Bingo. What, there's a window open, so what? Do you want to get them ladders? You breaking in? No, you are. Gary, we can't let them get away with this. Well, why can't you go up there? Because I'm delegating to the man with experience, Alan Sugar would say I was a genius. Look, you do realise that house like this will have a burglar alarm, don't you? Yeah, well, if he's forgotten to shut the windows, maybe he's forgotten to put it on. And if it goes off, we'll just say we're window cleaners. What, and you just, you just fell into the house, did you? Well, he can't do out. I'd like to see him try. All right. Ladder's coming up. I see you didn't give that to the Inland Revenue, then. Hi, Carl. What are you doing here? Well, we did tell you that we wouldn't rest until we get our money back. So. Are you looking for a smack in the face? Oh, yeah, hey? Hey! Oh, man! Ah! Do you know how much that's worth? About five times what I owe him, you little brat! And you won't mind coughing up it, will you? I'll give you a clue. It's not a Boeing 747. Oh, great, and I can't imagine who it belongs to. Us? Until he hands over what he owes us. I can't believe you're stealing stuff. Borrowing! You'll get it back. Uh-oh, -uh, here we go. Cavalry's coming. OK, funny man, you've had your little joke. Right, Katie, come to the cafe with me. Why? Go on, Casey, we'll sort later. And you. Really? Yeah, yeah, go on. <sighs> So, I think me and you need a little chat. Bottom line is, Owen, you don't unlock this, give me my bike back, I call the police. Right, OK. But you've not called them yet, though, have you? No, because I knew you'd see reason. Oh, I'm a very reasonable man, that's true, man. So you will see, I owe you three, four grand. Nick and my 20 grand bad boy is actually taking... Actually, the... can I just stop you there? Because I don't think you understand what's going on here. Think about it. Do you really want me on your back day in, day out, just for sake of four grand? I'm bankrupt. And I'm a bright man. And I can rock up at your gaff every day messing with your head. Do you really want that? I'm telling you, mate, this is only the beginning. I think you're forgetting I know you of old. I'm fully aware of that. And I know all about your shady past. And I also know the number of the local Rosses. My missus is going to be gutted. Why? It's her bike, you see. Oh, is it? Yeah, she loves getting out there, opening her up. Yeah, I could just picture her. Fast lane on the M6, wind in her hair. Can't you do weird this feeling? Why would you deny that one joy she has in life? Oh, she needs some fun nights here. You'll break that woman's heart on. And talk figures. I'll give you a grand. I'll give you a slap. Hey, I tell you what, I can always tell your Val about the time you were knocking off that stripper from the Sheik Club. <laughs> that was years ago. Oh, right, well, it won't bother then. 
four grand. And I keep this zipped, and your Val gets her wheels back. Half an hour. <clears throat> All right, love. Not really. What's wrong? Well, it's this bloke that I'm seeing. I think he's trying to prove that he's the big I am. Only I think he's going to get himself in too deep, and I don't want him to live to do something he's going to regret. Well, love, I know this bloke you're talking about. Good-looking chap, is he? <laughs> No, 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 he, he, he is, he is. And, and you see, the thing about him is he's just trying to do his level best, you know? Is he? Mm. Yeah, get the money he's owed so he can put bread on the table and keep the woman he loves in the manner to which he's accustomed. <laughs> well, I'm hardly Liz Taylor marking my life in diamonds, am I? Just let your fella worry about himself, yeah? I can't help it. Eddie used to get himself into all sorts of scrapes. I'm not Eddie. I know. Well, where is he now? Want to get the dosh. Is that what he told you? Yeah, why? Yeah, more like going to get four mates in a baseball bat. Or not. All right? Yeah, you got something I want. In front of her? Uh, uh I've got a name, you know. Uh, feeling Anna, Anna, feeling. It's all there. I don't want any part in this. Women, eh? I heard that. Well, Philip, as usual, it's been a pleasure. Just give me my bike back. <laughs> <laughs> it was so lame, I know. You're joking? No, it's just Owen and Gary coming in. What did she say to you? I put the kettle on, but, you know, I don't know if we deserve something a bit stronger. Hey, listen, I think I've had enough excitement for one day. Ah, come on, that's something fizzy. We're celebrating. Oh, that's cider. You know what? I'll get you something a bit fizzy. I'll slap you around the head so hard you'll need an alka -Seltzer. A bit harsh, love. No, it's just my mum. She's, like, really losing it. Hey, get to your room. Did you hear that? What? Are you stupid or what? Me? Yeah, you, cos I know Gary is. All right, Mum, chill out, will you? No, Gary, I won't chill out. What you did to that fella was criminal. You robbed him. It was borderline extortion. Yeah, it got results, love. The great train robbers got results, Owen. It doesn't mean to say that they were right, I think. Anyway, I don't know that much about the great train robber. No, it got the money we were owed. Yeah? I will not live in fear of the phone going or a knock at the door. I will not have bin bags full of cash appearing in my back kitchen every other week. Them days are over, do you get me? I get you. Good. Right, well, seeing as you're so flushed, maybe you can think about piling a few of those pounds that you've got there into redecorating this place. OK? Good. That's eh? Oh, my strenuous beauty regime must be paying off. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, two pints, please, tea, and uh, whatever you want. Oh, I'll have a uh, cheeky little white wine, so thank you. Well, I know what we did was risky. Just a bit, yeah. But it paid off. Yeah, yeah, I suppose it did. Sure, it's like a shot of adrenaline right through my veins. Yeah, it was a bit of a laugh, I suppose. And it sends out a message. Hmm? We are not to be messed with. <laughs> Hiya. Darling, what are you doing here? Is this taking Jake to see some of her fresh girl mates? I thought I'd come here for my tea. Oh, did you now? Oh, sweet mm. That was weird. Forced me off my feeling. What's he want? <laughs> He's invited us over for drinks. <laughs> I was sent the wrong number then. Yeah, he's that taxi as well. Here we go. Bring your Gary and the family. I need to chat about some business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like we're going to do business with him again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, we know the man's a liar. Yeah, but you know what they say, love for a warning's for a yeah, Well, why have you had to invite him here? I'll never know. Because I wasn't going to give him the satisfaction of going to his. Anyway, don't tell me you're not a little bit curious to hear what he's got to say. Yeah, but like Mum says, if we can't believe anything he says. Do I look like I was born yesterday? Definitely not, but thank you. Yeah, well, in my book, you'd be a fool to get mixed up with a lying cheat who you know you can't trust. Look what happened last time. You're lucky the pair of you didn't end up inside after nicking that bike. Uh, you can wipe that smile off your face and all. I doubt Izzy would have been impressing you in the dock for breaking and entering. Look, I'm not saying what we did was right, but at least Phelan knows we're not a soft touch, which means he's not going to try anything. Anyway, I'm curious. Yeah, well, you know what curiosity did, don't you? Right, come on, shift, shift, just...
Jack, 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 Always helps to mix business with a little pleasure. Yeah, well, it wasn't much pleasure for us last time, was it? <laughs> I'll, um, I'll stick the kettle on. I'm gonna save that for Christmas. That's the good stuff. I actually pay a fella to go to France for me twice a year to stock up. I mean, I have to. The missus drinks it like water. <laughs> don't believe a word he says. My wife, Valerie. This is Anna. Gary. Gary. Yeah. And this is... We've met. That was the nail bar business. Oh, booming, thank you. Do you mind if we... No, please. I said to Val she should have invited you down to the salon. You girls could chat about cuticles or whatever and me and the boys could... Yeah, well, my cuticles are just fine, thank you. And anything you've got to say to these two, you can say to me. Tea or coffee? Coffee, please. Two sugars. I don't suppose you have Earl Grey? Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, oh, oh well, I've, um, I've run out. Pardon me, do you? Just a glass of water, thanks. Right. So that's the nicest ease out of the way. What exactly is it you want, Phelan? Ten flats, everything high spec, and it's surrounded by land. So each flat gets its own outside area and parking space. Mm, sounds lovely. Finding permissions for mill conversions can be tricky, though. It's in the bag, ready to go. What, and you want to give me the contract? This would set you up for life, all of you. Nice houses, cars, money in your pocket. Sorry. Hi, <laughs> uh, it's my daughter, Katie. Hiya. Hiya. Looks like you've got quite a house full. Nice bag. Yeah, so it should be. Mm, thanks. So, why, Owen? Why do you want to set him up for life? Yeah, we're not exactly old mates, are we? I've got enough friends. What I'm looking for is a man who can get things done. A man who's still hungry, like you. Young Gary here. So what's the catch? Catch? Yeah, when something sounds too good to be true, feeling it usually because it is. Owen, I'm an undischarged bankrupt. It's illegal for me to front this project. That's where you come in. All I'm asking is you think about it over the holidays. It's a great opportunity. It's a huge opportunity for all of us, yeah? And if you fancy a bit of pampering, come and pay me a visit at the salon. Oh, that'd be great, thank you. And do enjoy the champagne. Plenty more where that came from. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Ooh. Ooh, he's about as slippery as a bar of carbolic, that one. And as for her, Lady Muck and her Earl Grey. I know, but how nice was that handbag? I saw the exact same one in the magazine. It was two grand. Yeah, well, so much for being bankrupt. Yeah, well, folks like that know how to play the system. Mm, the man's no fool, that's for sure. Yeah, well, I don't want him thinking Owen is. You know, it's one thing being his front man, but I don't want you being his fall guy at all. Give me some credit, will you? If it was anyone else, I'd bite their hand off, but... Look, we don't have to make a decision just yet, do we? Yeah, we're thinking about it, right? You need someone to go in with him. Oh, there is no development at all, is there? So, really, you're in the driving seat. But their house is beautiful. It is. And they've got a full-size pool table. Come on, love, don't tell me you wouldn't fancy some of that, eh? Well, do you know what? Maybe I would. But for now, I'll settle with you slapping a coat of paint on them cupboards and fixing the tap in the bathroom. Come on, slow coach. All right. <laughs> Dad, has Phelan got you on your mobile yet? No, why did he call it? No, he just rang and left a message on the answer machine before. So what? That he needed to talk to you today and just wanted to know when you're free. Well, it's about that milk conversion, it's got to be. Give the lad a PhD. Call him back, love, and tell him I'm here for the next few hours if he wants to swing by. Right, OK. What are you going to say to him? Well, I don't know yet. I've been chatting to a few mates in the trade, you know, doing a bit of digging around and, uh... And what? Well, they all think it sounds kosher. What, even though feeling's dodgy? Yeah, but they reckon this mill could be a gold mine. Come on, let's get this stuff inside. All right? Mm -hmm. Are they getting on up there? Yeah, he's, he's got all the architect's drawings. You don't think it's a good idea, do you? Well, I don't trust feeling, but... Oh, he says that he's asked around and fucking the trade seems to think it's kosher, so... So, we convert the mill into ten flats, which will cost about 800 grand. And I'm going to want you to stump up 10% of that. 80 grand? Yeah. The build will take five or six months. You'll project manage it, so you'll be on wages for that long. And at the end, you got 10% of the profit. How much are you going to sell them for? They've got all different sizes, obviously. But let's say the average price is 300. We stand to make 3 million, 2.2 of which is profit. So you're looking at the best part of 200K. 
Now, obviously, I'm a bankrupt, so you'd be in partnership with my Valerie, but she'd be a silent partner, so don't worry. We set up a new company, and Armstrong Construction get the contracts. Tempted? Might be. But I don't do out without checking it with my missus first. <laughs> what? <laughs> Knew that was coming. Ah, well, you know, maybe that's why I'm not bankrupt, Pat. Yeah, well, you're also not the only builder in Manchester. Other companies would be biting my hand off. So, I'm going to give you 24 hours. So I need to get a move on. At the end of the day, 200 grand is a life-changing amount of money. As if you're going to make that much out of it. But I don't see why not. Uh, plus, you've got to stumble 30 grand first. Yeah, exactly. How are you going to do that? Well, we asked the bank. Yeah, well, what if it all goes belly up? It won't, love. They're, they're good plans, you know? They're professional. Oh, wow, you have very pretty drawings. What do you think? I don't know. But Owen's contacts in the trade think we'd be daft not to, so... I know, but what do you really think? I really don't know. And the... Think about Izzy. What about Izzy? Well, where's she going to be in ten years' time, eh? I mean, you've got a son. With this money, you could put a deposit on a house. Uni fees the works. And she might need some help. I look after her, mate. No, I know, but she might need some extra support, if need be. Just think about it, yeah? I need to think about Anna. And we have to consider Faye's future. You know, Anna works all the hours that God sends in that cafe. It'd just be nice to see her put her feet up. And you sure it's above board? Well, I've spoken to the right people, and I'm as confident as I can be. So I want to know, if I do this, are you with me? I we've got to think about the future, Mum. Oh, you do, do you? I mean, well, where are we going to be in ten years' time, eh? You know, we might need all sorts of help. Uh, my condition has no bearing on whether we jump into bed with a gangster. He's not a gangster! <laughs> Phil lives in a big posh house, you know. So bad. Indoor pool, electric gates. I'm not materialistic. I know, but you wouldn't have to slog your guts out every day, would you? You know, we could have nice holidays together. As a family. Oh, I imagine. Mm -hmm. I just want to do what's right for this family, you know? Oh, all right, there's no harm in trying. Do you mean that, love? Yes! Tell them you're interested as long as the bank will cough up. Yes. Oh, <sighs> so much smaller than Joseph. So he should be. He's only two years younger, aren't you? Your dad not back? Uh, no, not yet. You've not been working with him? Yeah, but he had to go to the bank, didn't he? That's all he talks about. Oh, it's a lot of money. How much did you say? He's got to raise 80 grand. Whoa. Yeah, but think of the money at the end of it. You know, 10 flats, 300 grand each. Mm, we're going to be rich, aren't we? Yeah, so he says. No, I, I never said rich, just that'll make life a lot easier for him and Joseph. So have you eaten? Uh, yeah, I have. Oh, we had some before we came round. He's here. Hey, Dad. Hi, love. So what's this head then? What a horror. Let him get in. Are you all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. As for what they've said, well, quite a lot, really. They, uh, they had a look at the plans. They looked at them upside down, back to front, inside out, and long story short, yeah. they've said no. <sighs> they didn't. Well, you tried. Won't lend us a brass farthing. Why not? Well, they reckon it's an unacceptable level of risk. You know, I thought, uh, for me, maybe, not, but not for you. Yeah, well, even so, they must know what they're talking about. Why? Banks get everything wrong. Famous for it. Well, I'm sure they must get some things, right? Well, I'm glad. And I'm not going to pretend I'm not. What do they know about building, anyway? Bankers. Well, they reckon they can sort people who do know. Well, well, maybe they have. And maybe they've saved you from making a big mistake. Right, have. What did Pat say to Zeno about this? Yeah, he does, and he wasn't pleased. I won't use his exact words, because there are ladies present. Look, I know we're not celebrating anymore, but can we just go down the road for a drink? Anybody interested? So you're taking it for granted that Katie and me will be babysitting? Uh, yes, I was. Yeah, of course he was. So Pat's just given up as well, has he? No. He's given up on me, Gary. OK, the deal was I'd bring him the money today or he'd find himself another partner. What, and there's nowhere else you can go for the money? Oh, Gary, leave well, I'm it. just asking, is he? No, I, yeah, I could go to a loan company, all right, but they cost an arm and a leg. Yeah, but it might still be worth it. Yeah, I've already rung Pat and told him the deal's off. So stop going on. 
And can we all please just remember that Pat Phelan has gone bankrupt once already? No, well, don't worry. He won't be taking me down with him, will he? Yeah, for which we're very grateful, love. So we're not going to be rich after all, then? I never thought we were. You see, if I go on my own, people would be thinking, poor man, he clearly hasn't gotten over sweet. There we are, Dev. 270 change. Cheers. May I say that you always look lovely, but tonight you've excelled yourself. Oh. You can say that as often as you like. <laughs> Let's just uh, sit down, shall we? Yeah, cheers, Liz. So then you're thinking, why don't I just not go? Hmm? <laughs> Weatherfield retailers, poor oh, police, hardly the social event of the year. You know, other years I haven't even bothered, but this time, you know, I would like to go. You know, it's like making a statement. It's like saying, hey, folks, look, I'm still here. <laughs> I'll take Stella. Stella? Yeah, Stella. Yeah, I suppose I could ask, but there's like a little problem. We have like a shared history. Uh... Oh, yeah, I think you told me about something. Yeah. Stella's partner killed Sunita. A problem, yeah. No, I don't think it'd be right for me to even think about asking her. Ah! Oh. I just remembered a, a call I should have made. I'll be over in a sec. Do you want a pint? Yeah, cheers. Hiya, Pat. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's Gary Windass here. I, I work with Owen. So, it'd just be like a loan from the bank, but with a higher interest rate. Why'd you keep asking her about it when you know it's not going to happen? A bank would charge 7 or 8%, whereas a loan company would charge double that. Right, but if you could still make a profit from the build, then... Well, uh, chance is gone now, isn't it? Pat'll be talking to somebody else now. Yeah, and good luck to him. You were the one telling me this was the chance of a lifetime. It was. It's gone. Your mum's right. No, she's not. Yes, she is. I've already told Pat to find someone else. <sighs> Look, I've just rung him. All right, when we came in here. And he said we can have another 24 to think about it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Behind my back. I was having to make me look at Oh, come on, what does that matter? What it means is we can still do this. All right? The bank turned you down, so you gave up. Yeah, well, I wish you'd give up. Well, you don't have to. Right, you said yourself you can get the money from somewhere else. You're just going to have to get used to paying a bit more for it. Think of the long game, yeah? You want to do it, so what's stopping you? Me. Well, I am, aren't I? You take the chance it's such you know I'm dead against I it. I might, yeah, but you are dead against it. Yeah, I am. Why? Because it's too big a gamble. It's too big a chance to miss more, like. No. All right, all right, look, the you two arguing is going to help things, is it? Let me sleep on it and I'll decide tomorrow, OK? He didn't sleep a wink last night, neither did I. I did. No, you didn't. You were thrashing around like a drowning man. Well, he's got a lot on his mind. Well, if this is how stressed you are when you've not even put a penny down, imagine how you'll be with hundreds of thousands of pounds of debt round your neck. It's a golden opportunity, yeah, Well, that was before the banks knocked you back. Who are you going to turn to now, cowboys? High street names. Yeah, cowboys in suits. Do you think you should just give up? I think there's no shame in being careful. Love, I've done my own work. Right job, wrong time. That's all you need to say to Pat Phelan. He's a macho man. It's all image with him and Val. A real man would say what's in his gut. And you know, if you listen to yours, I think it's telling you to walk away. I do love you. I love you. I'll see you later. Yeah. You two and all, hon. What? Anna's never had money. She doesn't expect to. Meaning? I like her, Dad. I do, but sometimes she just sets the bar low. Go on, say it. That's how she ended up with me. You're a good catch, Dad, and she knows it. So does feeling. Look, you've played it safe your whole life. You had to. You had me and Izzy to support. But now, it's about time you got what you deserve. So what, you worried about the risk? Yeah, I am now that I know Owen's out there with his begging bowl. Right, well, you don't have to beg. Because he's putting a great deal on the table. Yeah, and you're forgetting that it's not just him, is it? He's got me. Yeah, looking bricks and climbing ladders. Uh, being his eyes and ears on sight. Just whatever's going off, I'll be able to have his back, won't I? Gary, the kind of thing I'm frightened of, he doesn't go on on sight. He gets sorted out in golf clubs, private gyms, council chambers. You know, he just needs one quiet word in someone's ear and that's it, his reputation trashed. And before the poor contractor knows about it, he's got the bailiff stocking at the door. It's like swimming with sharks. But life's a game of chance, Mum. Look at Quinny. Look at Haley. 
you got to grab what you can. When you can. Hiya. Hey. Oh, I've been asking around in there. Feeling's company looks big, you know. All right, not Barrett's, but it was successful. Yeah, until it went bust. So did Woolies. And half the other shops in the precinct. Look, you must have been good to get where he was in the first place. Oh, gloss. There's builders out there who bite his hand off, but he wants me dad. Yeah, because he needs a mug. A mug? What? I'm trying to say my dad's a mug? No, I didn't mean that. You just said it. No, what I mean is that he needs a man that people will trust. Owen's brilliant. His reputation's rock solid. That's why a big deal McNeil needs him. Anna, my dad had run rings around feeling he's already proved it. <sighs> it's a budget of hundreds of thousands of pounds. Yeah, and I think he's up to it, and so does Gary. You know, you're making out feelings a big baddie and all of this, but the one you don't trust is me dad. No, you're wrong. You know, you're just thinking about the big fat check at the end of it all. And if you thought about Izzy and all this, eh? And how she'll cope with Gary working all the hours God sends. I'll pull me way. You've got a job. Well, then you can help as well, Roy, you'd understand. <laughs> Roy needs me. What, more than your own family? You are looking at a man of me. So you didn't. You got the load? Yeah. Oh, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> See, somebody else with faith in him. Did you really? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yes, brilliant news, but won't the interest be through the roof? Well, let's just say it's a fair deal, OK? It's not a great one, but it's a fair one, so I'm happy. We're a team, love, yeah? You've got to be happy too. Mm. <laughs> Come on, let's go and tell the others. Yeah. Come on, yeah? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just finish up here. That's what I just said. <laughs> we'll catch you. Gary, put the kettle on. You show him out. It's not that I, I don't can't do this you. if you're not... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> just... Let me please explain. Listen, I think that you could move mountains if you set your mind to it. I just don't want you sticking your head in a noose so I can have a new three-piece suite. I'm not well feeling. I know that you've gone through the figures with a fine tooth comb, but have you thought about your family and all this? You know, Izzy and Jake while Gary's out working because Pat Phelan won't be interested in equal parenting. I'm Gary's boss, not him. Yeah, and you need Gary for your eyes and your ears, so where does that leave Izzy when Jake starts crawling? She'll be run ragged. We'll catch up, mind her. <laughs> what, at four in the morning when he starts crying? Well, Katie can stay over, love. Oh, we can see, sort this, oh, all now, of it. Now I just look like a killjoy, but it's not just the pressure of the mill. I can handle all the pressure, all the graft. I can take everything the bill throws at me and the family. But I need to know that I've got your backing. Love, this is a life changer. Well, they must have asked for security, the type of figures that you're talking. Yeah, and I am going right on a limb. I've no choice. But the interest... Would cripple me if I took the offer that's on the table. But I won't, love. If Phelan wants me, he can have me on my terms. And do you think he'll go for that? Yeah, well, if he wants quality, he's going to have to pay for it. But when he does, we will be in a different league, love. Maybe not a retirement home in the south of France, but... But bigger jobs, better contacts, and more security. And, yeah... Maybe even the odd holiday. We deserve it, love. So, am I going to call him a war? Oh, go on, then. Make his day. Oh. Hello, how are you? Hiya. Hiya. Hello. All right. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi. I wouldn't open that just yet. You got the 80 grand? Eventually. Do you want to, uh, do you want to come into the kitchen? Do you uh, want to sit down, love? Oh, thanks. Can we some skills? <laughs> right, okay. The interest through the roof. No pain, no gain. I need a higher profit share. 25%. Listen, I'm having to put this place up for security. 10 was what we agreed. 25. It's marvellous over there. These beads are hand-stitched. 20, or I walk away. So, am I cracking this? Go on. Oh, I'd have that as my ringtone if I could. <clears throat> to the mill. And all who's sailing her. <laughs> The mill. The mill. The mill. Oh. Where'd you get them done? Just a place in the precincts. What do they charge full set? Eighteen. I charge twenty-two, but I use all the proper gear, licensed. No but Chinese imports. Have you ever clock off? Come on, let's oh, go. Oh well, it was really nice seeing you. Yeah, there you go. You should pop into the salon sometime. I'll do you a pedicure. 
Great. Well, partner, see you bright and early. Sign off on the paperwork. No more surprises? No more surprises. Just an old mill, but six months down the line, there'll be luxury flats. And are we going to live in one? Uh, uh <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> the plan is to sell them and make a profit. No, we're just going to be living here with a wonky banister in a kitchen that's fallen to bits. You can have any kitchen you like, my love. Oh, yeah, and what about the rest of the house that needs redecorating? Yeah, that'll be done as well. Everything your heart desires. So, are we going to be rich? No. Well... Uh, no, I don't like to talk about us being rich. No, but we're going to be a hell of a sight better off than we are now. Can I say that? Oh, let's just see how we get on, eh? Look, it's not a crime making some money for the first time in your life. And that is what we will be doing, yes. Great. Only, let's not tell your mother. You and me will spend it between us. Right, yeah. I want us to be on site when everything arrives. Yeah, right. Listen, uh, me and Izzy were talking last night. I want everything checked by us as soon as it's dropped off. Then we're not just relying on muscle on the dock. Yeah, all right, got you. So anyway, we were saying, how weird is it that the first thing I knew of Pat Phelan, me and you were more or less breaking into his house? Because he was this lying, cheating scumbag. Yeah, well, he was. And now we're all best buddies, you know? You and Mum are pally with him and his wife. Yeah, there's a lesson for you, eh? But, well, well, that's because we stood up to him. He knows not to mess with us. Dad? Yes, my love. I got you a cat up online like you wanted. Good. And that money's got him. Fantastic. Hear that? We're in business, lad. No, your money. My money? What, the 80 grand? Yeah. But not the 120? I feel him. Well, that's not in there. OK. All right, well, maybe we're a bit early. Just make sure you keep an eye on it, will you? Let me know when it appears. Yeah. OK, right, well, you get off to the mill. I'll just hang about just in case. What, do you think something's wrong? No, 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 lad. You know, not everyone starts work as early as us. Go on, go on, get out of here. Dad, feelings, money's still not gone in. Do you want to ring the bank again? No, they're only looking at the same thing you've got on your screen there. Well, it's not the bank I want to talk to you. What are you making your nose about it? Ah, I think Mr. Feeling knows full well, which is why he's not answering. Right, I've had enough of this. Well, what are you going to do? Dad! Good timing. Give us the keys. That money come through? No, it has not. Maybe you should call the bank then. Already have. Any other bright ideas? Maybe I should drink feeling. Done that. On the out every hour. And guess what? He's not answering, so I'm going to find him. You don't miss come here? No. I should have received uh, 120 grand from the account that has your name on it. Might have my name on, but it's Pat pulling the strings. Exactly. So where is he? Wherever he is, he's not here. Have you tried ringing him? I've tried and tried, but you know, for some reason, he's not answering. Well, I'd like to help you out in a wood. Are you sure he's not here? Oh. oh, I see. Well, you think I'm hiding him? Well, somebody is, love. All right, tell you what. Search the house. Go on. Anywhere you like. I don't know where he is if I did a tell you, but I don't. And he hasn't said anything about the money that we're supposed to have coming in? Nope. Well, hasn't mentioned there might be a problem? No. Nope. So why is he not answering his phone, Val? Oh, please, don't tell me he never does, because I've been with him, OK? The second it goes, he grabs it, even if he's in the middle of telling you something. I know, it drives me mad. Only today, he hasn't done that. Maybe his phone's not working. Maybe it's not. Oh, come on, Val. I'm not here because your husband's phone's not working. I'm here because me and him have this deal. And I'm supposed to have 120 grand in my account to kickstart this whole project. And guess what, love? It's not there. I wish I could help. Yeah, well, I wish I hadn't got involved in this in the first place. You know, I know. I know your husband's reputation as well as you do. And I'm beginning to find out how he got it. You saw Valerie this aft? I did. And have you tried calling Pat since? Yep. And I have. What, there's still no answer? No. And the money's still not gone through. Why does his wife just not know where he was? What, you always know where I am, dear? I have a pretty good idea. You think? Well, yeah, yeah, I thought that, I know. Hey, are you saying she were lying? Well, I don't know. Maybe they've got a really funny marriage. Maybe he was somewhere she didn't want me to know about. Like where? 
like a ballet dancing class. I don't know, do I? What happens tomorrow if there's still no money come through? Well, we'll have a whip round and we'll have to chip in together. Oh, well, don't look at me. I've got nothing. Oh, me neither. Look, we can deal with tomorrow when we get to it, OK? Can you all please sit yourselves down? The fool. Oh, don't say that. No, I knew what the man was like. He swindled me before. Why did I think it was going to be any different this time, Anna? Oh, that must have been crazy. So what do you think's happened? Well, it's fairly obvious. The money is not where it should be, and the man himself is not where he should be. Yeah, but we've not lost anything. You don't think? Well, even if the conversion ain't going to happen, then... Love, I put my name on contracts. I had to because his name's no good. So if we are at the Swanee, our creditors will want the money from me, and the loan company that we got the money from... They're going to want this house. Phelan, it's Owen. I'm at the end of my rope here. Where are you? You've got till the end of the day to get back to me. Oh, what? I don't know yet, love. <sighs> you can't just lie there and take it. You know, I saw this coming. I should have followed my instincts. All right, well, that's productive. We need to think straight here. Never mind whose fault it is. It's Phelan's fault. You know, I think you should just withdraw the rest of it. It just doesn't make sense. Why would a man run away from a project he's sinking 700 grand into? No, we're the ones who sunk the money into it. We're the ones whose house is on the line, our future. Katie's right. You should withdraw the rest of that money. You know, you'd, you've got to get it out now while you can. <sighs> no, it's not gone through. Could try one more time. What's the point? Owen Armstrong, you up there? Is that him? Yeah. What in God's name is going on? Hold on. Why aren't you on the site? Ten ton of sand has just arrived and nobody's I've been for following it. you non stop for the past 24 hours. I've had a couple of things to yeah, do. Well, let me remind you where we stand, Phil. Yeah, where we stand? Yes. Tell me. Yeah, come on. Let's have it. Chris, I can't get rid of the tune. Hello, Anna. One for me. Where have you been? Let me deal with this oh. one. Yeah. We've been going out of our minds. He's been up half the night with worry. £80,000 we put into that bank All account. Right. No! Our house is on the line, so come on, where's your money? Should be there. No! You... You know what? It's not there because there is no money because you're a con man and you're a liar and you're a come cheat. On. We transferred the money as agreed. So why is it not in there, then? I don't know. Phone that bank. They said it would transfer straight away. Go on, do it. Do it right. while he's here. Yeah, you stay there. Excuse me? All right, that's enough. What a funny way of doing business, you people. <laughs> She's really been up half the night. You must think we were born yesterday. Right, we're in a queue. Funny old week it's been. Weather-wise. Yeah, thanks, love. Bye. Well? Yeah, it's there. What? Got paid in yesterday. Just didn't show up online. Banking error. And how much is in the account? Uh, 200 minus what was paid out for supplies. I feel like a bit of a clown. Well, what a dance of an experience. Yeah, it'd be best if uh, you ignored all the messages on your phone. Uh huh. So everything's back on then, yeah? It was never off. Appreciate it. We'll say no more about it. Might best be getting back, so see you later. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Oh, sorry, have I have caught you at a bad time? No, no, come in. I, well, I just wanted to apologise, you know, for my behaviour. Well, for everything on all of our behalf. There's no need. And don't tell Owen that I was here because he's worried that you think that they can't cope. And they can. You know, this isn't anything that they haven't done before. It's not anything that they can't handle. And they're up to it and, and they trust you. And... Well, I don't know what else to say, so... Would you like a drink? So you won't let what happened this afternoon stop things from, you know, moving forward? If I get to see you every time I see him, what have I got to complain about? I think it's the eyes. What? Especially when you're angry, the eyes. Come in. <laughs> Are you sure I can't get you a drink? Might help you relax, you look very on edge. Well, I'm bound to feel a bit awkward under the circumstances, aren't I? Well, don't. You've apologised. And in my book, that makes us square. I don't want any bad feelings between you and me. 
In fact, I was hoping we could become friends. OK. Friends suits me. Glad to hear that, because I've been looking forward to sampling one of your famous breakfasts. Yeah? Yeah. Last fry up my Val did should have been served in an urn. And she's always got this face on her in the morning. So, it'd be nice to have some pleasant company over breakfast for a change. Yeah, well, it gets really busy in the cafe. We don't get much time to talk. Maybe you could deliver. Sorry. That's not part of the service. Pissy. I can't blame you for being suspicious, especially after what happened before. He can blame me for whatever he wants. The price of a pint, global warming, the lot. He's got the cards. We've got to make this right somehow. I already have. Just left him budge up. Feeling? Yep. Went round to his to apologise. Well, you shouldn't have done. You only said what we were all thinking. No, no, no. You know what? Sometimes if you lead with your god, then you've got to be prepared to shove a humble pie into it. How did he take it? It's done. He's fine. No hard feelings? No, no. As far as he's concerned, he's ready to crack on with the milk. Oh, so. you little... <laughs> Belter. What do you want? <laughs> hey! I was hoping we'd find you in here. We just knocked at your house. All right. I said to Val. He's a builder with 80 grand in his backside pocket. What else would he be but the boozer? No, oh, no, trust me, mate. All that money he's spoken for, but... Only pulling your leg. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure all that nonsense earlier was behind us. Yeah. Well, like I say, you know, I'm sorry I ever doubted Don't you. Don't worry. Me and Anna smoothed things over, isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, we did. I want to look forward. I think we can do great things together. That's a smashing outfit, love. Where'd you pick that up? Oh, it's only from the market. Come on, she looked good in a potato sack, eh? Got to be a dad's worst nightmare, good-looking daughters. I bet the lads are like bees round a honey pot. Am I right? Well, I've had one or two sleepless nights. I can't deny that. There are a couple of crackers there, mate, that are credit to you. Oh, don't overdo it. You make the poor girls feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Not me. I'll listen all night. <laughs> See? My Val reckons I'm too forward, but I don't think there's anything wrong in giving a good-looking woman a compliment. I mean, you wouldn't be offended, Anna, would you? Um, I, I don't know. Doesn't happen very often. <laughs> now that I don't believe. Oh, go on, get to the bar with you. You're a menace. Yeah. Go on. What's everybody having? Owen, thank you for a smashing evening. Glad we got everything straight. Me too. Hey, you should drop by the mill next week. <laughs> don't you worry, I will. You'll be sick of the sight of me. <laughs> Bye, love. Hope to see you again soon. Good night, girls. Great to see you. Bye. Bye. Nice, nice to see you again. Bye. 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 All's well that ends well, eh? You know, I was a drowning man this morning. Now I'm decked out in a lilo cocktail in hand. Or I soon will be, eh? Hey, we all will be. Yeah. So I've got a bottle of champers to celebrate, eh? I've got a better idea. Kebabs all round. Oh, right. yeah. It's a bit over the top for kebabs, isn't it? Yeah, well, you can't take chances, can you, with chilli sauce? You know what your dad's like. He's dead messy when he's had a few carvets. Crying out loud. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. I'm so I'm really sorry. I'm sorry it's been a tough day. I know, but you barely said two words in the pub. So what upset you? Oh, it's probably now. You're listening. <sighs> it's feeling. What about him? Well, I think that when I went over to his house, I think that um What? I think he might have tried it on, maybe. Well, he propositioned you? I think so, yeah. Well, either he did or he didn't. What did he say? Well, it wasn't really what he said, because he didn't say it outright, but you know what men of his sort are like? You know, like so flirting, it's like breathing, isn't it? I don't know, it's probably now. Maybe it won't. Oh, I don't know if my dad even thought feeling it didn't. It... Oh, he didn't bear thinking about it now. I know. And that's why you can't tell him. Neither can I. See you later, love. Yeah, well, yeah, well, if you hear anything, and I mean anything, you will let us know, won't you? Yeah, we're going out of our minds here, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Someone's got a Valentine's card. Oh, I've got a secret admirer, have you, Katie? <laughs> I wish. Hey, it's not for you, is it, Faye? Uh, don't sound so surprised. Hey, it could be from that lad you said you fancied. I don't fancy anyone. That lad you said who knew all the lyrics should be on his back catalogue. Oh, he sounds promising. <laughs> you sure about that? It's for you. Me? Oh, 
going? We, we said we weren't going to. Not me. I don't believe in Valentine's Day. You don't believe in many things involve putting your hand in your back pocket. Someone loves mum. I thought you were going to school. <laughs> we still got it, Anna. Shush you. It'll be somebody taking the mick. Certainly not me. No, cos you've got no sense of humour, have you? Cheek! See you then. Ready to roll. Yes, got the charger. Oh, wait a sec. I'll come in. Sorry. Thank you. It's not bad news, is it? No, it's no news. No, but you know what they say. No news is worrying. Cake roll? Oh, yeah, here's the order. So, you thought any more about your cards from this morning? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, someone sent you a Valentine's, Anna. Yeah, and it went from my dad. Oh, you're a dark horse. All right, Izzy, don't broadcast it to the whole world. Sorry. I see loads of fellas in here checking you out. <laughs> Do you? You're a good-looking woman, Anna. Most of your customers don't know where you live, so... I don't. You don't think we're feeling, do you? Well, I hope not, because we're having dinner with him tonight. Me, Owen, him and his missus, Valerie. Oh, you're going to have to talk to me, Dad. No. A good plastic. Do you know what? It, little things just making me feel weird. It's one thing him being a bit, like, forward with me. It's another thing sending me flaming cards. It takes it to an all new level. What did that policewoman want? Have they found him? Oh, uh, no, sorry, darling. Uh, she just wanted to see if we'd heard out. You look nice, love. Oh, well, you know, Valerie always looks nice. She's like the only way his essence on HRT. Well, <laughs> I'd better make the effort. <laughs> well, thanks for finding me, shirt. Anytime. Just don't tell the feminists, because they're meant to have burnt me bra. <laughs> Do we have to go? You what? Well, I, I don't know if I can be bothered. Well, have you gone to all this trouble? Yeah, for you. Anyway, it feels really weird going out with worky people on Valentine's night. Look, we can't blow them out now, you know. We're meeting them in the hour. He's got a book and table and everything. We're just going to have to go. Yeah, I suppose. Anyway, it'd be good for you to think about something else other than... Other than what? Well, Roy. I suppose you never really know, do you, what's going on inside someone's head? Except the problem is that we do know what's going on inside his head, don't we, you know? He's missing his right arm. The love of his life. I know, love. Poor beggar. I hope he's chilling out somewhere, shooting the breeze, eating rubbish food and having time out. I love it when you go all posh and philosophical, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> right. Shift oh, that. Sorry. That's all right. We'll be done with your card. Hey? From your secret admirer. Only I was going to tell you. Oh, <laughs> do you know what? I ripped it up and I shoved it in the bin. It'll be a wind up. And I'll tell you something else, I know. What? I mean, well, the card was cheap. Oh, well, I suppose whatever the circumstances are, it's nice to be here on the most romantic night of the year with you. <laughs> yep, there they are. There we go. Oh, can I get any drinks? There's already wine on the table. Oh, lovely. Um, kind of a lemonade in mine. Spritz it up a bit. Sure. Oh, in. Wait there, mate. Good to see you. Hi, Annie. <laughs> oh, I like your earrings. Oh, ta. And it's Anna. A vision, as ever, Anna. A lucky man, Owen. I know. Oh, he's full of compliments, isn't he? <laughs> I've got a good one, haven't I, Anna? Yeah. Hey, you've got to yourself, love. Anyway, happy Valentine's Day. Hey. I'm telling you, he's a sucker for any new gadget. Always has to have the latest of everything. Come on, it's people like me that keep the economy going. And you don't exactly stint on the shoes and the handbags, though, do you? I get good use out of them, unlike your five-minute wonders. No, no, no domestics until after midnight. Pat's always at a low boredom threshold. Right. I love I've got gravy down my chin, love. Lipstick on my teeth. You're fine. No. Just that you keep staring at me. Do I? Yeah. Sorry. I, um, I've, I've just got a lot on my mind. So. Yeah, like wood or marble worked up for her fantasy <laughs> kitchen. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. Food OK? Oh, yeah, the lamb, it just melted right in your mouth, but then it goes straight to the hips. <laughs> oh, give over. You look fantastic, you skinny mini. I'm not the only one who thinks so. Here's the bloke in the green shirt. Pat Phelan. He probably hasn't stopped looking at you. Surprised his wife hasn't thought you. Oh, come on, we all need an ego boost occasionally. <laughs> Not fostered, actually adopted. No, she's a fully fledged Windass. Oh, you're brave. It's hard enough loving your own flesh and blood. Amen to that. 
Faye's family. No, we couldn't imagine life without her now, could we, love? No. Did you adopt her together? No. No, but Owen's better than any... Yes, they're not married. Well, never say never. Cos today's the day, you know, if you want to propose. <sighs> well, she binned the Valentine, I sense. So I doubt very much whether she'd be popping the question any time soon. You binned it? <laughs> If you'd said that and you denied all knowledge no, of it. It's, it's fine, love. It's, it's funny. Oh, I'm so sorry, darling. I, I feel awful now. Good, because even if you did ace it, that's four quid I'll never see again. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you think it was from? I don't know. And I don't care. Our partners going to the toilet at the same time? Is there something we should know? <laughs> You've gone quiet. No, I'm fine. Your eyes, your eyes remind me of young Liz Taylor. <laughs> I think you've got cataracts on yours. The eyes of Liz Taylor and the voice of Mrs. Merton. <laughs> and I thought you were flirting with me. How would that work? We're both spoken for. Too right. Don't you go planting ideas in my head. All right, love. Oh, chocolate, love. Oh, tar, love. Put something up? Hmm? I thought so. Come on. <sighs> well, if I tell you, will you promise me that you won't go off at the deep end? You know I already don't like the sound of this. <sighs> I think Phelan's trying to play mind games with me. What? What do you mean? What? Has he tried it on? No. Has he? No. Not really. He, he just he, he just makes my skin crawl. Has he touched you? Because I'll tell you what, if he has... No, no, he hasn't. He hasn't, see? See, I wish I'd not said no, anything No, no. If you're inventing a headache to get away from him, then we've got a problem, love. He's, he's, he said he had nice eyes. Did he now? And then he said I sounded like Mrs Merton. <laughs> What? See, I'm I'm making him out and out no, of a mole. No, I'm sorry, look, but if you want me to have a word with him, I promise you I will. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll just give him a wide berth. Don't want to make trouble at Mill. <laughs> <laughs> you lie. <luck. laughs> Here you are. Don't say I don't give you nothing. Colin Bell stand at City, nice one. Yeah. Row C, so even the old man will be able to keep track of the ball. Look, well, you not using yourself. Couldn't I just? She's taking me off to Venice for the weekend. Who, Val? Who else? And much as I love the beautiful game, two lads have been working like Trojans this week, so live a little. Yeah, I'll take care. Um, what if you're going to be no, like no, no, that? I'll take them. Cheers, Pat. Doesn't want to take Anna, does he? All that excitement. Might get a taste for it. Hello, Pat Feeling. I told you, I don't kiss and tell. <laughs> no, come on. How old was you? 15? Younger. I take these things very seriously. Older. 16. And a half. Let's go, let's go. Classic, go on. What was her name? I don't know. Uh, I do remember it was the last dance and I think she was a bit desperate and then it was a sudden lunge and... Well, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> lunge, yeah, right. She probably tripped up on her way to the buffet or something. Uh, thank you for your vote of confidence. <laughs> Oh, I love you. Oh, I do love happy workforce. <laughs> Looking forward to our meal out tonight. I can't wait. To be honest with you, I'm dreading the flipping meal. Well, don't blame you. Let's just hope that Feeling can keep his hands and his comments to himself, cos we both know what my dad's like. All right, thanks. Now I feel a lot better. Well, he's got a temper. Feeling's only got to say the wrong thing and... Listen, he knows Owen well enough not to push his luck. Well, let's just hope so. Last thing we need is my dad going off and when I'm blowing this deal for all of us. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna set him straight. My dad? No feeling. Like you said, you know, there's a lot riding on this job for that grubby beggar to ruin it all, so I'm gonna have a word with him later on when Owen's not around. Do you think that's a good idea? <laughs> uh, listen, I can handle Pat feeling. Yeah, I've done a bit when I was in the army. Oh, yeah? What position? Up front. Ah, glory seeker, eh? <laughs> Every time. What about you? Nah, I've played a bit more rugby than anything. Cool. Are we going to get some work done today, or what? Sorry, boss. 
What about that you set of bungee frogs? All in hand. Good news. Yeah, she's very good news, this one. Yeah, well, like I said, I need them plans unless you want this site to close down. You're right. Why don't I go round to the architect's office right now? Good idea. Roy, is it OK if I slope up in about quarter of an hour, love? Of course. Oh, thanks. And listen, don't forget, you've still got your parcel over there you've left. Message. Come in. Say, I was surprised to get your text, especially as your mum was stood right next to me. Owen? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, he doesn't know I'm here. Yeah, well, it'd be your problem if he did, cos then I'd have to tell him why. Surprised you think it would be my problem. We're both there. We both obviously want the same thing. Where are you getting this from? Because believe me, you have nothing I want. Oh, I love you, women. Two steps forward, one step back. Okay, fine. I'll play any game you like. Listen, I don't play games. And if I did, I certainly would be playing with you. Really? So why exactly am I here? coming on to you. Don't deny it. I'm not going to. So long as you admit you enjoyed it. <sighs> You're in your dreams. So, why did you ask me to come over here? You're here, so I can put you straight. Huh. No, I mean, why not phone? I know you got my number. Let's see, where's that text? Uh, I need to see you. Because I wanted to talk to you face to face. With your boyfriend out of work. No, to make you understand. Oh, don't worry, sweetheart. I understand. You want to play the innocent? Fine. You're, you're so arrogant. I prefer to see you as confident. And in my experience, women like a man who knows what he wants. Yeah, well, you don't always get what you want. The thing is, though, Anna, I do. Maybe get off me. Are you sure that's what you really want? Hello? Owen. Yeah, bye, love. Bye. So why didn't you tell him I was here? lucky for you I didn't. Mm, because then you'd have to tell him you invited me. Yeah. And now I'm telling you to get out. And he'd wonder why. Don't flatter yourself. There's a name for women like you. Women who are scared, they're losing their looks, who worry that they're no longer sexy. I mean, you lead men on and when it comes down to it... Ooh. But then there must be something wrong with you. I love Owen, I love him. <laughs> And I would never, ever deceive him. Who are you kidding? You've already deceived him. I'm here with you. And you don't tell him. Only question is... Why? Because I wanted to make sure that you got the message, that's why. And now I'm telling you to get out. Get, get, get out! Nobody needs to know. You disgust me! <sighs> now get out. I said get out! Okay. I'm going. Don't worry. It'll be our little secret. See you later. You make me sick. All that we end up sat in traffic for half an hour. Oh, I could make a couple of. 
I'll do it. Oh, uh, Gary's nipped on for a shower. I said that we'd uh, meet him and Katie there. Yeah, right, love. Anna? I don't feel too good. Why? What's the matter? Oh, so... I'm not sure. It's probably just a virus or something. Well, oh, do you want me to get you something? No, no, it's all right. I've taken some paracetamol. Hey, I can't go to the bistro. No, no, of course not. No, I'll, I'll give him a ring and tell him we're not coming. No, you go. Kids are looking forward to it. Hmm. If I must. Listen, you look out yourself, OK? Mwah. Oh, sorry, Time passes quite quickly with a bottle of Beaujolais within reach. Oh, which they're very often is. Sure, we'll have them thinking I'm an alcoholic. Come on, sit down. Is you come round here, love? Cheers. You two look lovely. Aww, thank you. So do you, don't you? <laughs> yeah, great. Oh, that's sweet of you. Where's Anna and Owen? Um, not sure. They said the mate is here. Oh, Anna's probably still getting ready. Now, who's drinking what? Oh, you're a dying breed, you are. She's over there. Oh, so are you. Oh. <laughs> oh, my dad's terrible, right? He goes to change channel and he's like, yeah, give us that remote like he's the only one who knows how to do it. Oh, but then he's so slow! Yeah, well, that's just an age thing. Oh, uh, no thanks. No, none taken. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, sorry, everyone. Oh, don't worry, it's fine. Where's Anna? She sends her apologies. She's uh, come down with some kind of virus, she reckons. Oh, no. Mind you, there's a lot of it about. She's all right? Yeah, no, she's fine. She just needs some rest. Come on, mm. sit yourself down. Cheers. The girls have just been telling us what a whiz you are with the remote. <laughs> <laughs> to Anna. And to a speedy recovery. Oh, come on. So, without a word of a lie. My mother always told me never to trust a man who started his sentences like that. <laughs> By the way, Val's mum hated me. <laughs> True. Where was I? Uh, you were just about to catch your fish. Right, fish, <laughs> right. So I take a photo of it on my phone, send it back to Val in England, and we get the bill, like, a month later. £200 it cost me to send that down the line. 200 quid. Bit of an expensive TA. Uh, uh, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna go and check on your mum. I'm just probably asleep. Well, then I'll come straight back, water. You want me to come with you? No, I'll just stay. Something I said? No, I just wanna go and see if his mum's all right. She'll be fine, is he? Come on. I just want to make sure. Came to see if you're feeling any better. About the same. Your dad said you had a book or something. Said you had an headache. Yeah. Then do you really think you should be drinking red wine? Something happened, didn't it? You feel him? Something happened when you came round? Nothing happened. I said you shouldn't see him on your own, didn't I? Anna, tell me what happened. He came round. I marked his card. That's it. That ain't it. I can tell. Look, what do you want? A blow-by-blow -blow account? Yeah, if you like. Right, he came round. I set him straight. End of. Did he try it on? I've told you no. He did, didn't he? Look! I've told you that nothing's happened, so just drop it, will you? Never has a man been so in love with the sound of his own voice. Oh, come on, be fair. Some of it was funny. After five bottles of wine, my tacit turn to sound funny to you, lost. Oh. I shouldn't have had that to you, Maria. Right. I need to go to bed, I do. <laughs> 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 Glad you're feeling a bit better, love. <laughs> oh, I tell you, it would have been worth catching whatever it is that you've got not to have to sit through that for three hours. Wasn't it three hours? It would have seemed like it was. Yeah, well, I think it's all right. So what happened you're feeling? You've got to tell me that happened, so just drop it. You sure you're all right, Mum? Yeah, I'm just tired. Um, me and know. Can we go, Gary? Yeah, no, come on. Do you want to get some rest? <laughs> See you later. See ya. Bye. Hi, love. See you then. Night. Have you got your game? Come here. Thought you were doing. Oh. Why am I always on time again? I know he likes to splash the cash a lot, but I can get to admire someone who's come from nothing. Admire him? 
What, just because he's got a bit of cash? Think of all the people he's trampled on to get it. Oh, people like that just think they can do and say what they like. All right, hang on. What? What's this about? In about anything. <laughs> Talk to me with that. Oh, it's just the way he tried to fleece me, Dad. Hey, that's all water under the bridge. He's got something to do with my mum. Look, I saw the two of you. What's going on? All right, I'll call her, shall I? No. He's been coming on to her. <laughs> he kidding? Or will kill him. Well, that's why she didn't want him to know. When? What happened? She was worried about tonight, so she asked feeling around to the house earlier, you know, to set things straight. And? She wouldn't say anything. I asked what she said, what he said, nothing. But I'm pretty sure something happened. That's obviously why she wanna to come tonight. Where are you going? Where do you think? And say what? We don't know anything until you do. You've got to keep this to yourself. Is he? She's my mum. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dearie me. I would not be really happy today, are we? It's been like this since you woke up. Oh. And how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, <coughs> well, you weren't last night. Yeah, well, you know, last night. That's all finished for you now. Anyway, it's not going to happen again. So something did happen. You, you can tell me. Oh, that's all right. What's he doing? I don't know. You know, maybe it's my fault. Because every time I've seen him, like, he's... He's been making suggestions. Well, it's not your fault. Yeah, I know, but then last night it went beyond suggestions and... Hiya. Anyway, hi, love. There's your toast, oh. so. Ta. Hey. Oh. What she said? Oh, well, nothing. She was about to, and then you came barging in. Well, I didn't know, did I? I told you. Let me talk to her, and as soon as I know how, I'll let you know. Yeah, I'm off to the mill now. Oh, so keep your phone on. Yeah, I know. We've heard it all before. Well, yeah, we have. Uh, yeah. Matter, well, it's something else I don't know. Please? Listen, I'm going to have to go. I'm just trying to have a word with that, aren't you? All right, and I'll try and keep your son happy as well. Is there anything else you'd like me to do for you? Actually, yeah. Yeah, there is. You just try and understand what this is like for me. You know, I've got to work with this guy. Like, we're best mates. And all the time I'm thinking, what have you been up to with my mum? So, anything you can find out. Yeah? From last night? Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. Me too. How's a lovely Anna? Not still suffering no, there. Huh? She seems all right. Anyway, she's gone to work, so. Yeah, must be. How are you, pal? Fine, yeah. Good, good. For now. For now? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I'm just going to take him a walk round, because I'm just going to be driving all your customers away, aren't we? Oh, never mind them. Hey, come on, darling, what's the matter? It can't be all that bad. Are you telling me about feeling? About what he did went beyond making just suggestions. Well, you won't say anything. Of course I won't. It was my own fault for inviting him round to the house. Don't you go start blaming yourself again. No, I'm not doing now. You mustn't. Just, I wanted to get him on his own, you know, and just to spell it out to him that I'm not interested in him. I'm never going to be, so stop it. You won't listen. No, you would not. He told me he didn't believe me. He said that he knew what it was that I really wanted. And then, like, it all got a bit physical. And he got me pushed up against the wall. And, well, for a minute, I actually thought that he was going to force himself on me. Oh, that must have been horrible. And I was scared to death. And then, well... I think he saw it, and that's when he stopped. Anyway, after that, the thought of sitting across the table from him, well, no, sorry. I couldn't have done it. Yeah, enough for now. We can always ask him if he wants some more. Yeah, of course we can. Well, I'll get on that now. Yeah, all right, man. Oi, oi! Come here. What? Is something going on I don't know about? No. So why are we giving back the ads there? When? Just then. You and him were getting on like a house on fire last night. What's going on, Gary? What's going on? Look, I'm not asking you to like him. I'm not sure I'll be seeing what you can after all this. Until it's finished, let's all stay nice and friendly, shall we? OK? Yeah. OK, all right. Oh, someone sounds like his own grave. Oh, except he's just had a bottle, aren't you? 
Oh, dear. No, usually he drops off as soon as we get him out, but today we've been going round and round till I'm dizzy. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's all right. Good luck. Thanks. Hiya. What's that noise? Oh, that noise is your son. Can you like it all morning? Talk to mum. Well, yeah, but it wasn't that easy, we did. What did she say? Well, she said everything's OK and she... Well, talk about it. Ask what happened last night. Yeah, everything's all right. I heard you. But did she say what happened last night with Felix? He came on to her. It sounded awful. I think he's scared her. Right. Hey, but I promise I won't say out to my dad, so you mustn't. Gary. Gary, what are you planning? You mustn't say anything. Yeah, and I won't. All right, I promise. I won't say a word to your dad. Oh, look. You don't want to sort the number for that taxi company near you, do you? Street cab? Yeah, no. Why do you want a cab for? I'll give you a lift. It's a little bit out of your way. It's just that I've put the car in for an MOT, so I'll need to pick it up. Tell you what, I'll tell you. Baby's been kicking off, so I don't want to get home too early. When we're talking about this after, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready. I will. Thanks, Pat. Don't want to get home too early. No, you said be friendly. That's what I'm doing. OK, bye. Nothing wrong with Jamie, sir. No, it's just having one of them days. Not like easy to ring, though. You'll be fine. Look, this favour you're doing for Pa, driving to pick up his motor, I'll do that. You just get off. Well, it's fine. It'll take 20 minutes. Gary is just telling you she wants you home to help with the baby. Yeah, and I will be. All right, I won't hang about. And if that bothered you, go around. Oh, all right, all right. Come on, you know what she's like. She gets herself in a step like nothing. Two minutes, my pal. Look, the office still stands, you know. I can give Pat his lift and you get off home. No, I said I'd do it. Oh, that's what you said. Listen, I hope Jake's all right, you know. We haven't heard any more from Izzy. No, listen, he'll be fine, all right? Like I say, she tends to overreact. All right, I'll well, see you some more, yeah? Yeah. See ya. Harry! Sorry to keep you waiting. But, madam, we're not going anywhere. I thought you were giving me a lift. Yo, you were wrong then, weren't you? Like you were wrong last night thinking you could try it on with Mum. Oh, right. Yeah, right. That's what she told you, is it? Never mind what she told me. You're not going near her again. Huh. And you're like a knight in shining Look, armor. Look, listen to right? what I'm saying. Don't get smart and this can be the end of it. How about you listen to what I'm saying? Do you know why I was over at your house last night? <laughs> oh, yeah, we all know that. No, I mean, she invited me. Yeah, so she could tell you to stop perving after her, like you have been since day one. So she could get what she's been wanting from day one. Your mother's a tease. She leads men on, and when it comes down to it, oh, no, not tonight. Look, just, just put your mouth. Oh, oh. Careful now. You're taking on more than you can handle. Don't go near her again. I don't like waiting in queues. <laughs> your mother's a tart! And I'll bet there's dozens will say the same thing. Maybe some working on this. Ah! Oh. Come on, then! Come on! Come on, get up! Come on, get up! Come on, stop messing me around! Hey, can you hear me? Pat! Ah! It's me. Come on. Gary? Whoa, 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 slow down. What kind of accident? When? Well, how did it happen? What, say that again? 
And where is he now? Anybody else here? He called an ambulance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, calm down, will you? Look, stay put. Be there any second. Me. Why not? <gasps> Gary! We got into a fight. A fight? Honestly, I never meant for this to happen. I just, I just wanted to warn him off. Hang on a minute. It I just wasn't an accident. It. I just lost it. Why? Warn him off what? I can tell you. Where is he? He's on the ground where I left him. Does he need an ambulance? Well, he's still breathing. Is that the best you can say for him? Go on, get in. Get in! And you know all this how? Is it on me? If you told you what exactly? Word for word. You said that Montalori came on to her. In the house. What, and you didn't think it might be an idea to pass it on well, to I me? Well, I thought I could handle well, it. Why didn't she tell but me? Because you thought you'd come out. Hang on, but let me get this straight. He got up on his own, you beat into a pulp with a piece of three by two. That wasn't my and plan. And you thought I'd go mad. You insisted on giving him that lift, so I suggest it was your plan. Listen to me, provoke me. All right, he called her a tart. And then he said that she came onto him. OK? When I hit him with a length of three by two, Your Honour, I didn't mean to hurt him. Mate, yeah, I can't go back to prison. If you didn't want to go back to prison, then you'd have engaged your flaming brain. Is that what they taught you in the army? No, it's not what they taught me in the flaming army. What do you think? All right, let's just... Let's both of us just calm down here, OK? Let's just do that. Where? There. I just don't see how he could have got much further. I mean, I left him for what? Ten minutes. And I ran down the road and met you. We must have gone the other way. I told you to stay put. Well, maybe it's not as bad as it seemed. No, it was bad. Believe me. All right, so he wakes up, he looks around, no one's here. There's no sign of you. He's no idea how he got there. Oh, come on, I remember. Will he? After taking a blow to the head like the one you gave him. Who knows what he'll remember? He's probably just got on the police or the hospital. Unless he staggered around the corner and fell into a ditch. Are you saying he ain't dead now? I don't say that. What if he is dead? I'm finished. And if he isn't, mate, we both are. Look, we can't mention this to your mother. Any of it. We can't even ask her what he did. Is he in Oslo? She knows how upset I was. You don't have to stand by me, you know. No. I know I don't. <sighs> You'll know people. The people that can hurt you hurt us. It's not that I'm bothered about. It's the police. What about this, eh? We don't know what this lunatic's into. But I go into business with him, then. Oh, like you were a poke. Well, you're the one that knew him. Once in a lifetime opportunity, and what is it now, eh? I could just got the police and tell him everything. Yeah? Why don't you just phone the prison and book yourself a room? I could say it was self-defence. What, with a piece of three by two? Look, he goes to the police, it's my word against his. And if he doesn't? Well, why wouldn't he? You are not going to the police. There were no witnesses. Look, we don't know what he'll do, or even if he'll be alive to do it, but you are not going to the police. We'll have another drive around, and if we can't find him, then we'll sit tight. What do you reckon I'd get? GBH. On top of my record. Hello, love. Yeah, yeah, you're sitting with me now. No, we're still at the site wrapping up. You, you where? Why? Well, what have they said? Right, OK. You, you will tell her we'll be there in ten minutes. All right, love. All right, bye. What? Why didn't you answer your phone? Why do you think? Izzy's been trying to reach you all night. She's had to take Jake to hospital. He's got a temperature and he's with him now. Is he all right? I don't know, but feelings in a ditch, you can stay there. <laughs> Wife's in there. Just go and see you soon. Pat, Owen. Yeah. 
Yeah, just a, a quickie, uh, read these RSJs tomorrow morning. Deliveries come in at 10.30, so I'll get Gary on the uh, on the case. Um, the crane's booked in for 11, so yeah, we're, we're all on track. Okay, um, right, I'll, I'll speak to you then. Bye. Come on, let's get back to the site, guys. We, uh, we didn't lock up properly. <sighs> Now, are you? Katie, have we still got that bottle of cava in the Ooh, fridge? Yeah, why are we cracking it open? You're too right, we are. The little mite's good as new. Well, it's still not well, but we can drink in a good mirror, can't we? How's it feel to you, Gary? What? You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Hey, hello, hello. Mm. Oh, shh. There's a police car outside. What? Just pulled up. Where? Have you never seen a police car before? Good night, officers. Thanks again for the ride. Night. Fancy that? What a night. Might not have been a pink cover anti-meth, but it was an adventure. Well, it plush in there. No, I've never been in one. I should hope not, no. <laughs> Did we just see you two getting out of that cop car? Let's go inside and I'll tell you all about it. Are you in trouble? No. Trouble? She is a heroine. She's on heroin. Take Izzy and the kid at home, then come back for me. What are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking that no news is good news, as far as I'm concerned. You said nothing to her? Hang on, let me try again. Like what? How can I? Just try and not relax, will you? The last thing we want is them not getting suspicious. Dad? Anna wants to know when you're yeah, coming in. Yeah, we'll be there in a jiffy. How long's a jiffy? Good question. Not either I am on the phone here. Let's go straight on to the phone. You know, I can't help thinking he'd let us know. Let us know what? That he's alive. And I'm dead. <laughs> right, we best get off here and put him to bed. Are you not having a drink, Gary? No, I'm driving. Well, why don't you leave JK tonight? I'll look after him, then you can have a drink and relax. No, honestly, we've got to get off. We have to get over to the site. How was it today? Uh, well, you know, fairly uneventful. So much of you know who? Yeah, a bit earlier. <laughs> what about you, Gary? Uh, no, no, not much today. Mm, lucky you. Oh, I saw him today, throwing his weight around as usual. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll be glad when the money's in our pockets. Well, it's a while yet, love. <sighs> Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> to Jake and to being rich. Oh, I'll drink to that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Cheers, love. Cheers, love. Can't he just lock up on his own? I don't see why it takes two of you. Yeah, but we've got some other stuff to catch up on for tomorrow. 30 hours, Jay's coming. How come I couldn't get hold of you tonight? I tried you loads of times. My dad wouldn't pick up at first, either. You seem cagey. Yeah, well, wouldn't you be? Yeah, I've just found out through your dad that Jake was in hospital. Well, that's all done with now. <sighs> Sorry, it's just this job. I'm not even sure I'm up to it. Of course you're up to it. You just don't like feeling, that's all. And who can blame you? You didn't say that to your mum, did you? No. I don't intend to. I just want to stay well out of his way. Oh, it's nothing serious, that's the main thing, eh? Well, it doesn't half give you a fright, though, when the temperature spikes like that. Just praying it wasn't meningitis. Oh, human nature's thinking the worst, love. Especially when it's somebody you love. Yeah. Still, if the doctor says he's OK, then he's OK. Is 953 a prime number? You were late. Well, you know, we're running a million pound operation. We're not building sandcastles, are we? <laughs> what about you? I'm fine. Good. Is 953 a prime number? <laughs> I don't know. Faith, five to <laughs> ten. Shouldn't you be in bed, love? Yeah, come on, darling. You should go up now. This is going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll be outside in a minute. He's uh, he's on his way around. I don't see why you both have to go. Oh no, he, he wants to talk about one or two things for tomorrow. We've got a load of RSJs coming in, and he, he's in charge. Okay, well, don't pile too much on him, will you? Because he talks a good talk, does our Gary? But you know what he's like is a worrier. No, he'll be fine. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. Night, Faye. Night.
Anything? Uh, it's not like it. Maybe she's taken him to the hospital. On the front of the police. Maybe she's down the morgue identifying her. Please stop saying that. Then what's going on there? No idea, Gary, but one thing's for certain. We'll find out pretty soon. <sighs> Mr. Feeling around? Uh, no, not yet. Only I said I'd drop his car off. Can I leave the keys with you? Sure. Tell him it's had its service and uh, the bill's in the car. Right. Can you smell that? What's that smell? <laughs> Actually, uh, ladies, uh, can I uh, ask for your opinion on something? Oh, if you're quick, please. Yeah, yeah, no, right. Now, here we go, right? So you are going on a date. It's a first date. It's nothing heavy. And this uh, good-looking guy, he's wearing this uh, cologne. Now, for that. now, do you think that's, like, sexy? Or do you think that's just, like, a, a little too much? Oh, that's not cologne, but it's perfume. <laughs> what are you talking about, perfume? It's a new fragrance from Ben. This is classy, it's exclusive, and I think masculine. It's perfume. So go on, then, who's she? Who's the lucky lady? No, we've just been half thick, will you? Yeah, well, listen, seeing that you're here, maybe you can help me pick a shirt for this hypothetical thing. Oh. I've got to go on that side. Why? You can't. Right, so I couldn't decide uh, between the two, so I decided to buy both. So, but now I'm thinking one's a little bit casual, the other one's a little bit formal. But... Thanks for helping out. Oh, no. You know what? I'd rather spend the day here being a grandma than stuck behind that counter making butties. <laughs> How's Roy? Yeah, he's OK. I think. I hope so, anyway. And what about you? I haven't had the chance to ask all day. Me, I'm fine. I mean, after... What well, you know? What, Pat Phelan? <laughs> nah, it'll take more than a creep like him to upset me. Anyway... You're not telling anyone, have you? Of course not. Good, because that's all done with now. Yeah, Gary, it's a weird feeling not being around, eh? I mean, he's usually breathing down our necks. Mind you, won't care if he never came in. Give us all a break. What are you shocked about him? You what? What's going on? Gary! Take a break, will you? Something? Ah, oh, he's just tired, mate. His son's been poorly, so he didn't get my suit back on. Listen, it's, uh, it's getting there. Why don't you tell... The lads knock off and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Are you all right? If he was OK, he'd be here now. He's dead, isn't he? You can't talk like that. I've killed him. <laughs> what am I going to do? Listen to me. If he's dead and I say... It's him. murder. It's murder. You know, I'm not talking about a few months ago. I'll go down for life. There is nothing to link you to it. Yeah, but I'll know, won't I? I'll know what I've done. How am I supposed to live with that? All right, thinking about your son, that's how, and Izzy, you are not gonna let them down. They already have. Shh. Where is he? Where's Pat? You've got quite pally with him lately. He's got you all wrapped round his little finger, has he? Definitely not. Where is he? We don't know where he is. We'd tell you if we did. He's not been home. That's not our problem, is and it? And last night, our anniversary, he stood me up. He's pulled some stunts in his time, not this. Look, we don't know where he is. How many times? Oh, yeah. And whose car's that outside then, eh? Noddy's. You know what they should call the three of you? See no evil, speak no evil, and hear no evil. Look, you don't know what you're talking about. You want to try sitting in mesh bar on your own for hour and a half. Oh, you think I would have learnt my lesson, wouldn't you? Look, his kid's been in hospital, all right? They didn't know what was wrong with him. Don't you think we've got more important things to think about than where your fella is? Right. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, they thought it was serious. I'm sorry. I had no idea. How is she? He. He'll get there. It's just an infection. Well, he has never, ever 
missed an anniversary. If we knew where he was, love, we would tell you. If you see him, tell him there's a warpath and I'm on it. Everyone thinks the babies are gorgeous looking, don't they? But most of them, they're dead weird looking. You don't think people think he... Hiya. Yeah. Sorry to bother you. Gary said baby not been well. Oh, he's much better now, Tom. Yeah. yeah. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm in a right state, Anna. Oh, do you want a brew, Valerie? Have you got out stronger? <laughs> it's my pad. Why, what's he done now? He's gone missing. Oh. Oh, he never said. Did he know? No. Um, look, I might have some whiskey in the cupboard. Ice. It were all right in the early days. Sort of an unspoken rule. He'd play away, I'd get me nice house. Weekends, he'd go out on a Friday, staggering of a Sunday. Just in time for a roast. And now? Imagine if your fella did that to you. He doesn't. Why don't you leave him? You know, if he messes you about that much, maybe you're better off without him. Or if he's done it before, maybe you'll be back before you know it, Valerie. And he's definitely not said anything. No. Problem is, there'll always be a stream of dozy little tarts ready to help him out. Thanks. I better be off. Would you want to know something, Valerie? Don't just judge the women. Judge him and all. Cos maybe the women aren't always willing. It's my husband to slag off, love. Not yours. Oh, hiya. What's going on? I'm feeling. How do you mean? Valerie's been round. Has he done a runner? Well, we don't know, maybe. With all our money? Who knows where he is? Has he scarpered? It looks that way. Well, why didn't you tell me? Well, he's not in work every day, you know. We just thought that... Right. Well, I think I'm... I know why he's gone missing. You better sit down. He's been dead flirty for ages. Anyway, he made a pass at me the other night. And he got a bit heavy-handed and he shut me up a bit. He did what? Uh, so I think, um, I think that he's worried that I was going to tell Valerie and, and that's why he's gone. I don't believe this. I promise you, I didn't do anything to no, lead him on. Look, there is no need for you to even say that. I know, but... I feel like it's my fault, Owen, that I've got us into this Love, mess. don't even think that. We should be at home with that. No, you need five minutes. Give yourself some space. We are not telling Nana. I'm drowning in it. What do you think is easy for me? Sitting there, hearing what that man did to her. Hearing her blame herself. He's dead. I know he is. Now you listen to me. No, no, nothing you can say can make it better. There's no excuse for what I did. Pull yourself together, will you? It's just said than done. You might as well have guilty tattooed on your forehead in black ink. But you can do it. All right? We both can. We should go. Don't these and then let's do it. Oh. Remember, you go home, you say nothing to Rizzy, and you do not have another drink, you hear me? And so we know what's happened. We keep this to ourselves. Compadres! Did you miss me? I'm sorry. I shouldn't let you wind me up like that. Yeah, but then you shouldn't have tried on with my missus. You get me? 
Well, lots of people do things they regret. Well, maybe he regrets not finishing you off. Oh, he tried his best, it just wasn't good enough. So what are you gonna do? Well, that's the million-dollar question, pal. Don't call him pal. I mean, you could be in an awful lot of trouble here, couldn't you? I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do about that yet. But I'm really going to enjoy working it out. So you two, stay lucky. I know I should have said something. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. I knew you'd take it out and I just wanted to spare you. I'm all right. Yeah, I know, but you barely said two words all morning. Well, I've got a lot on my plate, haven't I? I know, but you know, feeling will turn up. The devil looks after his own. And when he does, I don't want you losing your rag. OK? We need to be careful. Hiya. Hiya. How's Jake? Oh, you're right as rain now, aren't you? You think that would happen? You must be relieved. Oh, yeah. Look, that little man is all that you've got to worry about. I'm fine. And I don't want you doing out daft when feeling pitches up. Gary, are you all right? Yeah. Well, if you can get an answer to that, you're doing better than me. It doesn't turn to all right. Oh, do you have to go on at me all the time? Don't talk to her like that. Right, we've got to go. we um, got a concrete wagon due any time there. No, no, hang on a minute. What's going on? What's wrong? Gary, if there's something I should know... They're going to find out sometime. Find out what? Find out what? You're scaring me. Feeling came to see us last night, love. Well, why didn't you tell me? I wanted to spare you. Sound familiar? Spare her from what? Well, what was it about? Was it about me? I'm afraid there's a bit more to it than that, love. You hit him with a lump of wood? It was a bit of three by two, love. Not, not a baseball bat. Like it matters. I thought it hurt you. How could you do it, knowing what it might mean for me? For Jake, all yeah, of us? I'm sorry. I am sorry. All right, but he was winding me up. Honestly, if you heard some of the things he was saying, he was asking for it, ma'am. Oh, and you just had to give it to him. I didn't think you were that person anymore. I thought you were past all that. Don't be so hard, love. Any bloke might have done the same and issues, me included. Did you not think to ask me before you went charging in? Why didn't you just say something? Because I was handling it. Because we're up to our necks with it, we're feeling! Not anymore, we're not. What do you mean? He's on the warpath. He wants revenge. What sort of revenge? He didn't go into detail. Oh. No, but he's hell-bound to making us suffer. That much was clear. So what do we do? Well, we pull the plug on the deal, cut our losses as soon as possible. The fewer connections we have with him, the less harm he can do. Yeah, well, he won't need to do any harm, will he? Because we'll be flaming ruined. We can't pull out no, now. We can't not. We ate him, he ate us. I'm not going to pretend it won't hurt us, because it will, but we've no choice. We have to cut our losses. All right, you leave the talking to me. We all I can do not to slap him again. Keep your hand in your pocket, you understand me? Thanks, Tom. Nice lying, ladies. I don't think I won't be docking your wages. You won't be docking anything, mate. We're finished. The deal's off. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that out of a Christmas cracker? I shouldn't give up the building game, old. Stand-up's not your thing. I'm taking back what I put in. You find yourself another mug to frock this thing. Me and you are done. Just hold on. I'm the injured party here, and you want me to pay the penalty. You get off light. Maybe next time you won't be so lucky, eh? Threats now. Well, as entertaining as it's been in Cloud Cuckoo Land, I think it's time we return to the real world. You got my bank details. I expect the 80 grand to be in there by the end of the month. Yeah. What exactly stops me going to the police? Showing them this lot, I mean, it was GBH at least. Maybe attempted murder. I know Tonto's got form. He'd definitely go down. Who will say it was self-defence? And I saw the whole thing. Your word against ours, come on. Wait! Stop. Let's go to the office. I'm sure we can smooth this whole thing right over. I don't think so. I know so. And lucky for you two clowns, I'm a generous man. So before you go making any hasty decisions, I think there's so much you ought to see. It's gonna take long. No, but you might be better sitting down. Well, Stan, thanks. Sure so, yourself. Let me find it on here. Sorry, you can't offer you guys any popcorn. Look, what is this? You've wasted enough of my time. Well, you think yourself lucky you don't have to sit through any trailers. We can go straight to the main feature. 
Now, I've always preferred a couple of underfed Alsatians where site security is concerned. But I gotta say, technology has definitely got its place. No audio, mind. So we could be talking about, you know, the weather or how United come out the weekend. But I think it's clear I'm trying to walk away. Then bang! A vicious, totally unprovoked assault. And later on, you'll see an unconscious man left to, well, who knows what fate. So I think under the circumstances, we should sit down and talk a turkey, don't you? You like to brew? Just say what you gotta say. Fair enough. I don't think our contract reflects current realities, so I'd like to renegotiate. Well, renegotiate's not exactly the right word. I won't be blackmailed. Hmm? Pity. For you and your little lad. All those landmarks you'll miss, you know, walking, talking. Still, the missus can fill you in on visiting day, I suppose. You won't go to the police. Tell them about our little arrangements. How I'm just a front for a bankrupt. Well, first off, you'd be dropping yourself in it. But more to the point, everything is in Valerie's name. There is no paper trail. So you'll find hard evidence difficult to come by, unlike me. Oh, Gaza. Rest assured, I've got plenty of backup copies. So, let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? You know, I don't bother. I'd rather go back inside than just than just crawl to you. Is that right? What are your terms? No! Shh. The grown-ups are talking. You two are going nowhere. You're gonna finish this job to my exacting standards. You'll be first on this site at half seven every morning and last to knock off at night. Do you understand? And we're gonna have to revisit the profit share. What do you mean, revisit the profit share? Well, the profit part's fine. It's just the share aspect I'm unhappy with. So you, you've got to give up your stake in the company. What? Shut up. I mean, I'm not totally unreasonable. I'll make sure you get a basic wage. And when we get round to selling all the flats, we'll think about giving you your investment back. Well, very good of you. But so far as actual profit goes, you two walk off this job with the donkey jackets on your back and nothing else, not a penny piece. You can't expect me to accept that feeling. But from where I'm standing, it doesn't look like you got much choice. It was me with taxi, not him. I make him suffer as well. Because I can, because it's good business. Now I suggest you two go on and discuss it. Oh, give my regards to your mum, eh? You got a minute. For you, Owen? I've got two. Let's go to the office. No, I, uh, I'm needed on site. Really? Well, I take it you've decided to accept my gracious offer after all. I'll finish the job, yeah. And walk away with no profits at the end of it? I knew you'd see sense you're a practical man like me. We've got nothing in common. Oh, I don't know. Tasting women for a start. <laughs> How did the lovely Anna take the news? None of your business. No? Let's get this straight. I own you. So my business is whatever I choose to make it. Do you understand? Understand? Yeah. I reckon you do. So it looks like we've got ourselves a deal. And I can honestly say it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Good day. <laughs> Morning. Is you ready yet? Morning, darling. Come on back. Walk is. Right. right, I've been juggling a few numbers. I reckon we can be free of this nightmare earlier than planned. Oh. Well, it's not rocket science, is it? We start early, we finish late. We delegate. Oh, uh, no, don't push your luck with him, <clears> you know, <throat> feel as many things, but he ain't stupid. Uh, come on, I'll explain in the van. 
I can't see how it's feasible. Just about. How do I know you won't be cutting corners, though? I've got to pass its regs. The inspectors don't like what they see. They'll say, let me know. Do you want to finish here the schedule? Fine by me. But these are going in faster if you whip them. Yeah, until we finish, it's only regging your profits. Is that the profits I get to keep up in penny? Hey, Tonto! You should smash my face in more often. Windass, go and help Carl with that load. Is that busy? I said go and help Carl with that load. Did you hear what I just said? I heard you. Now I'm going to ask you for the last time. Go and help Carl. You're not telling you for the last time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go and do it, yeah? The way he spoke to me. Yeah, and I saw the way you hit him with a length of three by two. Look, I know all this is my fault. I'm not saying it's not, but still, just that look on his face. Do us a favour, will you, mate? Just take it and be grateful. And if you start getting any ideas, if you rise to him like the way you did this morning, you'll have me to contend with that alone feeling. That's good to know. Beg your pardon. Nothing. Anything you've got to say about me, you say it to me loud and clear so I can hear. You got that? There is another option. Oh, and what's that, then? Well, we call this bluff. Come on, don't tell me you've not thought about it. You know, we're making all this happen. It puts me away, everything grinds to a halt. Why, because we're the only builders in Manchester? No, you're the only builder in Manchester with your name on the paperwork. You know, you're the respectable face of all this. He's a bankrupt. If they start investigating, you'd still go to prison. Nah. No, I'm talking about who blinks first. You might not carry out this threat. You'd blink first. You reckon? What, do you honestly think he's stupid enough to enter into this without the right paper? We were the ones stupid enough to get into bed with him. Oh, yeah, of course, because builders are really renowned for their fussiness, aren't they? They like their clients to be morally impeccable, just like they are. See that, mate? OK? That's how fussy builders are. There's a dead fly in there. Exactly. But all I'm saying is maybe he needs us more than we need him. Surely that's worth a gamble. Yeah, OK. We'll try it. That's down tools, and you go and tell them that all bets are off and that he should go to the police. Well, what are you waiting for, mate? Maybe I've not thought of everything. You batted him half to death, and he's got it all on tape. That's the only thing you need to be worried about. But please be my guest. If you want to call his bluff, then I'm right behind you. Ah, now, you see, that's called blinking first. Now hurry up and finish your dinner. We're 15 minutes behind as it is. What do you think? Yeah, I think good. Perfect. Except these are the wrong ones, so they've got to come out again. You what? You have no laugh. I wish it was. I told you what ones were going in here yesterday. I showed you these yesterday. You had no complaints then. You've just been stood there waiting, haven't you? What, you want us to rip them out? There'll be no use to anyone. The frames are all screwed in. Yeah, do you want to finish this job or not? I want it done properly. So you're happy to pay for new doors, are you? Happy? No, do you think I like wasting money? Hang on, let's get one thing straight. Are these the doors we agreed on, yes or no? No, they're not. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take them down. I'll take them all out. And do you know what I'll do with them? Gary! Do your worst. I'll add it to the collection. What, you think I wouldn't? I know you would. Gary! Gary! I'll put him a marrow bone or a chewy treat. Works with Val's York, he tell you when he gets a bit frisky. Use your head, lad. Yeah, use your head, lad. Don't, you know Don't give him an excuse. Think about Jake, hey? What about Jake? Come on. Come on, lad. Hey, come on. Walkies. You want to get him a muzzle, Owen? You know what that is, son? Cowardice. Say that again. Go on, say it again. It takes guts to put your head down and do right by your family. Cowardice! From a bloke who's never done out brave in his oh, life. Oh, right, OK. So it's only a soldier that understands guts. Is that right, Gary? Life and death, mate. Life and oh, death. Oh, yeah. And was it life and death back there? Hey, you took on feeling to save my life, did you? Give the lad a bravery medal. Oh, you wouldn't know what a bravery medal looked like. When my wife walked out Oh, me, come on, mate. It was my whole life! All I wanted to do was get in my van 
and drive at 80 miles an hour into a brick wall. But you know what I did, mate? Oh, he had to find himself another bird. I had to get up three times a night to care for a baby. I had to pick up a sobbing eight-year-old girl, rock her in my arms and tell her that everything was going to be all right, even though I knew it wasn't. Now, your son is not yet a year old, and yet, for pride, nothing else, you are prepared to get nicked and let Izzy bring him up on her own. The same girl. If you were proud, you would crawl on your knees and you would lick that man's boot before you let that happen. All you have to do is survive. That's it. Now get the hell on with it. We won't invoice for overtime. Under time, you mean? If you deduct time wasted in hissy fits. Talking of invoices, took his smash. We get out of the cash box. Not unsupervised, no. It's a new cash box, and I've got the key. Besides, not enough to bail you out. It's only about this. Sixty-five quid. 40, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 36 pence exactly. Nice evening planned? Oh, you know, quite pint, Hugh. Been to tell you with Valerie and the Terrier? Probably. Oh, I'll give them both a pack from me. You see, it's not hard, is it? 40, 64 pounds and 36 pence. You know, if we didn't have to get up with the crack of sparrows, I'd suggest we sit a lot right here. So much for doing right by our families, eh? Well, well, you see, mate, sometimes it's good to celebrate a little victory, keep you sane. Victory, eh? You know what, if feeling had a rounded up to the nearest five, it wouldn't have felt sweet, so I... I lifted a couple of sheets of headed paper from his office. <laughs> Forged. Yeah. And you say I take stupid risks? Well, you know, he wouldn't think we dared to take a few bob. You right, Dad? Oh, mm -hmm. Drink? Oh, no, you are right. I'll get it. Hey, I can buy my daughter a drink. Oh, and, uh, here is something for Joseph. Dad, you can't afford it. Love, please, humor me, yeah? OK, allow your father to have a bit of self-respect. Please, take it. Good girl. Tina, can I have a white wine, please? Oh. Thank you. Well, you just couldn't have gone to another pub, could you? What? Pathetic. You're a pathetic, spineless bully. Such a gob on such a pretty girl. Shame. <laughs> well, you'd know all about shame, wouldn't you? You know how Gary should have hit you harder so you didn't get back up. Good point, Dad. Thank you for reminding me just how serious all of this is. And what's this? Owen! You know, I was thinking, watching you in Gaza, sat here drinking away your hard-earned cash. Oh, yeah, a man's got to take his pleasure where he can. Don't say that to him, love. He does. So I was thinking, I know you're keen to get this job finished sooner rather than later. The quicker we get these flats built and sold, the more pleasure we'll all get, right? I'm thinking of cruise. We want it finished as much as you do, don't worry. Exactly. So I'm bringing the deadline forward. Uh, we brought it as forward as it can go. Rubbish. A couple more weeks won't kill you. No, you can't do that. It's not possible. <laughs> Look at here. Our teenage construction expert. Hey. It's a bit more pressure, I know, but it's doable. I wouldn't ask you to do something unreasonable now, would I? You'll all thank me in the end. I best order me brochures, then. He was just thirsty. He's gone back to sleep now, anyway. You get yourself off to bed, love. I'll try not to wake him in the morning. Well, what time are you up? Uh, Gary will be here at six. Is that because of his deadline? Well, it'll be dark. No, he'll be fine, love. <laughs> He's right about something, though, feeling. Sooner it's done, the sooner we shot at him. Night, love. Yeah. Night. Night, darling. Yeah. Do something nice with this. Not food or bills, all right? What? Waste waste 12 quid? It's not a waste. Just, just use it for something nice. That's what it's for, please. OK. All right, well, is it all right for you to use it on Faye because she needs a new school Perfect. Program? Are you all right, love? You know, there's no way through this but through it. And I think you've been amazing staying positive. <laughs> positive? Look, I feel like I'm rotting inside. I tell you what, when this is over, if they were to cut me in half, what uh, well, they... well, then they'd have me to deal with. You're doing your best. <laughs> and that's all that you can do. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.
Morning, gentlemen. Morning. I said good morning. Good morning. Guys, I do us a favour. Round the back of the mill, dig us a hole. A hole? Yeah. Make it nice and deep. Richie found a dead pigeon on the roof this morning. I want to give it a decent burial. You want me to dig a grave for a bird? Just do it, mate. It won't take long. Okay. Good lad. Don't push him. Oh, yeah, why's that? Because the next time he flips, I might not be there to stop him. Mm -hmm. I suggest you stay very close to him then. You can help him dig his hole if you like. So I've got both. Yeah, but I need them both anyway. So how's it going down here, then? Well, you know, just arriving. Excuse me, miss. I've got authorisation to be on this building site. She's my daughter. I know. Never forget a face or a stroppy attitude. Oh, yeah. Well, I never forget a coward and a bully. All right, well, thanks for these little seats tonight, OK? He's great, your dad, you know. Yeah, I know. Turn his hands to anything, not afraid to get his hands dirty. He's a real grafter. Well, we all have to pull together, don't we, Pat? Couldn't agree more. Can you wash my car? Can I what? Can you wash my car? It's a bit muddy. I'm taking the missus out tonight. I want it to look nice. I'm not washing your car. That's a shame, because I bet the lad's 20 quid you would. Really? Well, you just got to lost 20 quid then, mate. I don't know. I don't lose bets, you see, because I always have an ace up my sleeve. So, I suggest you fetch your bucket, you get a chamois, and you wash my car. Show the lads how you like to muck in. I'll wash your car. Katie! No. It's fine. Give me a chance to slash your tyres and scratch your paintwork. Let's go back to the office. It's OK. Do it. Oh. Shouldn't have got up, love. Oh, behave. I can't believe he's got you starting at six in the morning. No, yeah, well, it could be worse. How? You're going to have to leave that one, wouldn't you? Oh, I'll get it. Morning. 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 You all right? Do you want to brew? No, no, I'm fine, thanks. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I've made you some sandwiches. I mean, they're only cheese and paste, not special. Hey, everything you make is special. Oh. Right, come on, let's get going. Oh, no, hang on a minute. I've washed your warm shirt. Oi, fuck up, will you? You know she worries. What, and just pretend like everything's fine, yeah? If that's what it takes, yeah. Listen, mate, we might be grafting all the hours God sends, but that woman is living every second with us. There you go. Oh, you're a star. <laughs> right, now, there's a, there's a bag of crisp each. And I've shoved in some chocolates that were left over from Christmas. Picked out all the toffee ones specially for you. Come here. Mm, I love you. Oh, I love you too. Listen, I'd say have a nice day, but I'll, uh, I'll just settle for come back in one piece. How did you do it? Blood in the van, my hands slipped. Oh, you're dead on your feet, you both are. Look, it's just a scratch, honestly. Uh, Gary, it looks like you might need a couple of stitches. Pat, look, just let me explain, will you? Gary cut his hand and we'd have ten minutes early, that's all. Don't know how he keeps going. Well, it's not for much longer, is it? It's wrong, Mum. <sighs> look, Owen can handle it. You only shouldn't have to, should he? It's not your responsibility. Yeah, if you say so. You listen to me. Pat wants you to blame yourself. He wants it. OK. I promise we will make up the time in the morning. Yeah. All right. Fine. <sighs> I love this job. That's fine. I love it. It's fine. Right, look, well, I can pencil you in, but it won't be for ages. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're saying it won't take long to tile a couple of kitchens, but we're really busy at the minute. Who's that? Yeah. Look how Manny says you've worked with him before. Yeah, I did. Yeah. All right, Manny, mate, how's it going? No, you know, I mustn't rumble. So go on, then, what are you after? Into the shop, you'll have another tea, Max. Hang on a sec, Manny. You're in luck, pal. I've just got a load of tiles. Yeah, Trani, 15 by 15s. Yeah, yeah, all nice and neutral. Nothing too scary for the tenants, yeah? <laughs> How much you need? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. All right, then, we'll, uh, I'll pop by tomorrow. I'll text you when we're on our way. All right, mate, yeah. Ta-da. Ta-da. 
So now we've got to be in two places at once, have we? Yeah, we'll busk it. All I'm saying is when a job like this comes up, we should grab it with both hands. And when are we going to tell these kitchens midnight? We'll get it sorted one way or another. But we're already working flat out as it is. And the best thing is we'll be using the material from the mill, so we'll be quits in and we'll be getting one over on feeling. That's got to give you a bit of a buzz, hasn't it? And what if he finds out, eh? Come on, you know what he's like. You don't miss a trick. Mate, it's a massive project. He's not going to keep track of every single tile. It's not worth the risk. He gets wind of this, we're dead. Oh, thanks, love your star. Just take the kettle on, will you? I'm mad at the bottom of a budgie's cage. Need to get up there nice and early. Load the tiles into the van before Tom or anyone else comes in. Good plan. Oh, yeah, and we'll need some tiger as well, don't forget. Which that take feelings? That's what it's there for. So, what are you going to say when he asks where I am? I'll say you phone in sick. With? Mate, we're not going to be banged up in separate cells and interrogated all No, this. but we might as well get our story straight. All right, guy, what would you like to be off with? Well, I don't mind. Flu? Uh, what? Asian bird, this is mine as well, if you fancy it. Listen, I just want to make sure we get away with it. We will. A thousand quid we're going to make, selling on tiles we didn't even buy, plus what you get paid. And you don't think we're being petty? After what he's put us through, I don't care if we are. Uh, all right, that's a lot. Off you go. See you. Hey, you know, Mrs. Keep your head down. Huh? You're off, sit, remember. Right. I wasn't expecting you. Oh, you know me. Full of surprises. Oh, I think so, you know, eh? Ah, you know, muddling through. Oh, Gary with you today? Ah, uh, no, he's, uh, he's got a touch of flu. He's having a day off. I'm gonna slow you up? No, not too much. Get back tomorrow with a bit of luck. Unlucky well, to get flu this time of year. Winter's been and gone. Well, he's been under a lot of pressure just lately. Well, so, what was it you wanted? Well, I just wanted to take a look, see how it's going. Ah, uh, not a great time, actually. I'll be the judge of that. No, I've just been putting primer on the screen in there. I'm waiting for the floor to dry. I need him more, honey. Just come back later, yeah? Oh, come on, Pat. You said this wouldn't take long. You need to drop me in town. OK. Catch you later. Yes, right, see you, Pat. Ta, Ta love. Is he all right? I don't know. But you better get out of here before he comes back. Cheers. Here, yeah, this is empty. Mm. Had um, Sally and Kevin been here long? Uh, yeah, they've been talking quite a fair while. How long's a fair while? Oh, it seemed pretty cosy to me. How long? You know, when you've been married that long, it's amazing how easy it is just to slip back into the swing of things. I asked for that, didn't I? <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't worry too much about losing Sally. You two are made for each other. You reckon? Yeah. You both put yourself first. You're a match made in Everton. <laughs> oh, now that was a lovely smile. Wherever did that go? What can I get you? Ah, let's see. Full English, maybe? But that spoiled me dinner. Mm. Ask Gary this morning. Gary? Yeah, he was looking a bit off colour last time I saw him. It's fine. You've been out to the mill lately? No, not lately, no. Coming along nicely. Now they're putting the backs into it. I like to see good, honest toil. <sighs> Decent, hard-working man that I am. Get out. I'm only full English. Worked up an appetite now. Before you make me wretch. <laughs> Another time, maybe. Why are you not at the mill? Doing another job. We're feeling tiles. Because we don't know. Yeah, it was his idea. I'm supposed to be there now, but this plot wants different grout to what I picked up, so. Be careful. Your dad said it's fine. How's it going? Uh yeah, good. You've recovered then? Owen said you had a touch of flu. Yeah, no, I'm feeling much better. Yeah, funny how these bugs come and go. Don't forget your grout. What? No, no, I'm, uh, I'm gonna put them in the front because the back's full. Ah. I see your problem. Full of tiles.
Pack up your tongue. The front of the job. Oh, I've got no doubt about that. The question is, where did they come from? We bought them in. Did you now? Yeah. You bought a load of the exact same tiles we're using at the mill. That's right. Bit of a coincidence, that, isn't it? Well, not really, no. Owen liked them, so when a customer said that he wanted his kitchen doing... He helped it himself? No. We recommended them, the customer said yes, and we bought them in. And you expect me to believe that? It's the truth. You're gonna have to do much better than that, Tonto. Hi. What did I get you? I've come for a quick word more than anything. Oh. It's this job Pat and Owen's doing. I was just wondering if you'd noticed anything. What do you mean? Bad vibe between them. No. Owen's not mentioned it. No, it's not such a thing. I hope this deal they're doing isn't going south. No, we don't want that. And how about Pat? How's he been? With me? He's fine. You and him haven't fallen out. Wouldn't be the first time. Likes playing games with people, you know. Not with me, it's not. Oh, well, just thought I'd check. Not that it would make any difference. No need to tell him about this conversation. No, of course not. Tra. Yeah. And just when I'm starting to trust you, you go and do a foreigner. I'm not. With my tiles on my How time. How many times have you bought them in? Where's the receipts? Why don't I deal with that side of things? No, of course you don't. Where did you say you bought them oh, from? I don't know. Well, you must have collected them. They were delivered. Prove it. Is this what you're looking for? Sorry, I couldn't help but over here. 400 Atrani, 15 by 15s, we bought from Pearson's, delivered here this morning. There's no price on here. Yeah, because it's an advice note. We've got an account with them. We'll get the invoice at the end of the month. Happy now? You're still moonlighting on my time. This job won't take long. Better not. I've done that. The email, the advice notes. I just changed the details and printed them off. Oh, you're a genius. Right, well, you better go and tell him Dad what's happening in case Phelan says something. I'll tell you what, you'd make a good crook. I'd make an even better one if you kept me in the loop. I could have fake receipts ready with prices on. Anyway, thanks. I've been stuff without you. Yeah. Yeah. We all would. Sir. Working late, Owen. I don't tell me you're making off for Gary being off with the uh, flu. Okay, hold my hands up. I don't like people trying to pull a fast one on me. It was a job I promised someone weeks ago. And I don't like people lying to me neither. You know I'm docking his wages till he gets back. Yeah, but you have to see it from my side, though. I can't let people down, Pat. It's all right to let me down, though. It won't happen again. No, it won't. Where are you off? Well, I'm off to see how it's going. You told me to come back, remember? Yeah. Looking good. Yeah? Yeah, very good. Now, about these tiles. What tiles? The tiles you nick from me to do that kitchen job. You know, I thought... I thought Katie told you we got them from Pearson, yeah? She showed you the advice slip, didn't she? She showed me something she'd cobbled together on the computer. No, it wasn't. I had Tom do a stock check. There's a whole pallet missing, which is just about what Gary had in the van. Well, that must be some sort of mistake, Pat. Do you think I was born yesterday, Owen? I expected more from you than scratching around for a few lousy hundred quid on the side. Well... You blame me after what's happened. Maybe I should take that footage to the old bill after all. We had a deal about that. Yeah. Well, Gary broke it. Look, he... the tiles were my idea, okay? Not his. Don't take it out on him, mate. Right? Well, he's got to learn. Look, you're already docking his wages. Okay, look, I'll... I will pay for the tiles, okay? Let's just. Whoa, whoa. Let's just. <sighs> Let's just leave it like that, shall we, Pat? Hey, come on. You know what? You might be right. I mean, I did take all of your profits away last time you messed up. Right, well, this is it. You know what I'm going to do? The 80 grand you invested, yeah. instead of giving it you back, I'm going to keep it. 
You what? I'm going to keep it. But don't worry, I'll still pay your wages. No, it's my money. What's your money? You can't do that. It's my investment. This job would not have happened without that money. And that footage is my investment. How am I expected to pay back 80 grand? Who knows? You can't do this to me! You never learn, do you, Owen? I just don't know what you were thinking. How could you put us in this position? What do you want me to do? Just sit there and take it? Oh, no. Much better nick a few towels, eh? Risk us losing our own. That's a real plan. Well done. And you're just as bad for going along with it. Believe me, you can't make me feel any worse than I already do, so... Oh, well, that is a shame. Look, what we did was mad, right? But I was doing no, it... No, Gary, there are no buts. What did you do, eh? Put a little sticking plaster on the damaged Chirigo, did it? Yeah, yeah, it did, if you must know. Look, I don't need you to tell me that I've screwed up. Yeah, well, that's something, I suppose. Don't you think you're being a bit hard on him? We all know what feeling's like. I reckon he were going to screw us over one way or another anyway. Yeah? Well, they just made it a whole lot easier for him, that's all. Mate, look, I'm trying to apologise here, but, you know, we both know that you gave us no option. No, I, I didn't mean... You backed us into the corner. Yeah, you're right, yeah. I shouldn't have done it. I accept that, and, and it... Yeah, and it won't happen again. I promise. OK. All right, thanks. Bye. Listen, I'm sorry. Don't! Just don't, OK? Cos I am sick to the back teeth of hearing about your woe-is-me routine. Do you have any idea what this is going to do to us? Do you? To me, your mom, Faye? Do you? No? Well, let me spell it out to you, lad. Not only will I be working for next to nothing... Yeah, you're not the only one. True. True, but you know what? I am the only one who wasn't involved in smashing his employer's face in. Right, so you're just fine with the fact that he came on to Monday night, yeah? Nice one, nice one. Careful, lad. Because thanks to you, we will not earn any money from this job. And we will be homeless. So don't push... Oh, so it's all my fault now, is it? Your idea to nick the tiles, not mine. Yeah, well, you want to think about why we're in that situation in the first place. Because you can't control your temper. Because you don't think any further than two seconds ahead of you. Do I think everything's your fault? Oh, you bet you I do 100%. You know what? If it makes you feel better, you just keep telling yourself that. Where's it you're going? Gary! Gary! All right. Fancy a drink? I thought you had a load of work on. Yeah, we do. Lager. Cheers, Stella. Well, what are you doing here, then? What's going on? And don't say nothing. He's never going to get away with it. Oh, he will. Because of me. You? Yeah, we had an argument. And I hit him. Hard. Oh, man. I know. Well, it still doesn't mean he can get away with it. I mean, who the hell is no, this he's not guy? Getting it. He's got evidence. And if we don't go along with it all, then... Inside. I won't. He won't come to that, will he? Yeah, but what if it does, eh? What about Izzy and Jake? And even if you're right, then it's all been for nothing, you know? We've lost everything. Owen, my mum, all of us. And I can't let him do it. Hang on, where are you going? Without that evidence, he's got nothing. Yeah, well, wait a minute, you just don't want to go there, yeah? Listen, mate, you might be right. But I don't have a choice. Gary! Just stay out of it, Carl. No, just listen, mate. Wait a on the mill job. I don't think so. Sorry. Gary was in the bistro just now. Well, my dad'll kill him if he knows he's skiving. Listen, can you get your dad on the phone? Is something wrong? But I need to talk to him. Has Gary done somewhere? Is he here? He's gone off to some bloke's house. What? Yeah, he said something about getting the evidence back. That's why I came looking for you. And to be honest, he was in no fit state. And he wasn't about to listen to me. But someone needs to stop him.
Hiya. Have you found him? Katie's just told me. Yeah, I'm around the feelings now. Listen. The sound of silence. Don't fuck me off, Owen. No, stop panicking, will you? He must have seen sense. I don't believe it. What? What is it? Don't tell me feelings. Well, I'll call you back. Have you lost your mind? What? I disabled the alarm. What? You unscrewed the bell box? Yes! Yes, no one saw me. The minute you lifted that housing, it would have triggered an alarm. Not a bell that the ladies would have more, but an alarm straight to the monitoring centre and the police. Look, I had to find his laptop. Right, we need that CCTV. Yeah, but it wouldn't just be on a laptop, would it? It'd be on a disc, ten discs in a cloud. You didn't stand a can else, chance, Gary. Oh, well, thank God. Well, that's what you saw then. We thought you'd been arrested. We had to get ourselves an alibi. We had a public slanging match at the builder's merchant. You want to be quiet? Well, put it this way, they won't forget us in a hurry. Hey, well, what about the neighbours? Got to hope that they didn't see us. They didn't. Look, I swear they didn't see us. Right. You know, I thought things were bad already, but this... What do you think Phelan's going to think? You two go missing from sight and, oh, coincidence, his house gets broken into. Did you take anything? Well, the only thing we wanted wasn't there. Look, I just thought that I was the one to get us into this mess. I should be the one to get us out of it, all right? So you weren't enough bother after the tiles already. You thought you'd drag yourself in even deeper. Oh, take me dad down with I you for the hour. out of it. Words. That's all it is with you. Your mouth keeps saying the right things, but you never engage your brain. You never think of me. Hey, come on. No, get away from me. You're a waste of space. You know what? I wish I'd never met you. You could go to prison. I won't go to prison. And then how would we manage me and Jake? Or does that not matter? Oh, no, because my dad would step in like he always does. Look, is I don't Can't think... Can't you that... see that all this extra pressure is not fair on him? He'll kill off on if you carry on like this, and then where will we be? What's up? Are you not well? Oh, Owen, Owen's fine, darling. It's just a figure of speech. No, I'm fine, lovely. I'm sorry. OK. We'll start showing it then. To me as well as my dad. Oh, come on, what more can I say? From now on, my rules. You say nothing, you do nothing. You don't even sneeze without checking with me first till we've signed off on this job. You got that? Gary? Have you got that? Yes. <sighs> what do you think? Is he out of control? Honestly? He's pushed me to the limits, love. I don't think I can keep a lid on him anymore. Mm. Do you know what? A few weeks ago, I was picking out wallpaper, planning what could squirrel away for us, his future, you know, maybe even send our fate to uni and, and now. And I, I thought we had the world at our feet. Hey, we can do it again. You don't believe that. I do. I do. I can live without the wallpaper. I can even live without this house if you have to. Hey, over my dead body. Don't say that. It's Gary and Izzy that I'm really worried about. I mean, what if the stress of all this makes her ill? I mean, really ill. You know what? If it's my son's recklessness that breaks them up, then it's just... It'll break me as well. What are these? Well, they'd run out of them Cheerio thingies, so I thought we'd try these instead. Mm, yeah, well, it tastes like cardboard. Yeah, well, that's fibre and it's good for you. Oh, well, I have a note about Fiddle on the Roof, if you've got to book tickets. All right, yeah, how much are they? Um, I don't know, it says in the letter. Ooh, well, they look tasty. Can I have a dinner with it? Yeah. Yeah. There you go, love. Thanks. Right, best be off. Oh. See you later. See you later. Oh, Owen. Oh, can you keep an eye on our Gary? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool. All right. Bye. Mate, please do not bring me bad news. You've run out of plasterboard. You look awful. Thanks to you. Can't look worse than you. Well, you do. You look like you should be in an old folks home. You look like you should be in a morgue. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, well, uh, we've just run out of plasterboard. You have to be there. I suppose either of you know what happened at my place tonight. night. Oh, what, big party? Oh, the invite must be lost in the post, eh? I was away. You know what you're on about? Yeah? Yeah. You? No. I am watching you. I wouldn't. We look terrible. 
It's time we started preparing for the future. I want you to do a phone around, OK? We need jobs. Anything, don't matter how small. How can we take on more work? We're exhausted now. I don't care. Nights, weekends. I want to start working for me again, Gary. OK, not him. Mate, if you need your beauty to no, see the final, no. I'll do it on my own. I'm with you. Right. Start with Keith in planning. He's always got something for me. Then go through every name in the book. You got that, love? Yeah, I'm on it. Good girl. What are you lot up to now? Plotting your next break in? Do you know what? I, I still don't know what you're on about. Well, I'll do the rest of that plastic one, shall I? Good girl. We're, uh, we're finally uh, seeing the wood for the trees now. How can you do any more work, Owen? There aren't enough hours in the day. It doesn't have to be too much. Just a few hours here and there, just to get us going again. Yeah, it's a lot easier finding the energy when you're working for yourself, Mum. Oh, I'm really worried about this. Love, we need to know we can stand our own two feet again. If someone needs a kitchen fitting at the weekend, I'd bite their hand off. Well, let's hope there's work out there. Good builders never out of work, love. Where's that leave us, then? Ah, <laughs> our contracts are cast iron. And here's my secret weapon. How would you get on, sweetheart? I'm not good, I'm afraid. Dad, I've been ringing around all day and there's nothing. Nothing at all. What do you mean, off the list? That's what he said. And you sure you got the right Keith in planning, yeah? Look, I am not stupid. Yes, I've got the right Keith. Yes, about is he? He said there was new guidelines about the approved contractors list. And I'm not on it. No. You really are the gift that keeps on giving, aren't you? Don't have a go at our Gary. It's not his fault. Of course it is. Love has got feelings, dirty paws all over it. Another way to keep me exactly where he wants me. Well, you don't know that for sure. Oh, yes, I do. Where are you going now? Owen? Owen! Owen! Yeah, yeah. yeah. I call you back, sweetheart. After a bit of overtime, Owen. Do you know Keith Harris? Ventriloquist, big green beard. Weatherfield Council planning officer. I know a lot of planning officers and a lot of council. Only I'm guessing you've recently spoken to this one about me. Believe it or not, you don't figure much in my social conversation. My name is off the council's approved contractors list. What did you do, Phelan? Go home, Owen. I've got a big day tomorrow, you and your Gary. All this plasterboarding to do. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why does anybody do anything? Fun, spite, power trip, all of the above. Thank you, that's really kind of you. Um, Roy's brought us a pie from the cafe. Chicken and mushroom. It was going spare, and I hate to have to throw it away. Oh. Much appreciated, Roy. Thank you very much. I'll bid you good night. See you. Good night, Roy. Thank you. Thanks, Roy. Bye. Well, I know you don't like charity, but is my friend any means well? Well, it's the least of our problems, love. Beats fish fingers again. What happened with feeling? Well, I was right. So he admitted to it, did he? Not outright, no, but, you know, just enough to let me know that he did it. And that he's in control. How the hell are we going to get out of all this? What are you doing? What? Well, the birds are still in their pyjamas. How long have you been down here? I don't know. Half an hour. Do you want me to make you a brew? I should have flamed the ceiling coming. I should have known who'd have stitched me up somehow. How? We all went into this with our eyes open. You know, we, we took a gamble and it just didn't pay off. It's the here and now we've got to deal with. Yeah, love, that's easier said than done. I know this must be very hard for you. But, you know, I drive the same route every morning and the closer I get, the sicker I feel. I just want to... Turn the van round and head straight back. I, I know, but you don't, Owen. You don't, and it takes guts to do that. Do you reckon? Love, I'm humiliated. Day in and day out. And I just stand there and take it. Do you know my old fella used to say? Always look a man straight in the eye. Never take a backward step. And if someone should ever hit you, no matter how big, 
you give them one right back. Yeah. And that is how I have always lived my life. It is who I am. You are a hundred times the man Pat Phelan will ever be. Yeah, he might be loaded, but he's not as well off as you. You know, you've got your integrity and you've got a family that loves you. You'll have those long after that loser's gone. Yeah, I'll be calling there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, it will be. Because this will come to an end. You've just got to hold on to that, Owen. I'll make you a break. Come on, what's that you could do with that? Oh, tell me it's careful, it's hot. I couldn't believe it this morning when my alarm went off. I thought I'd just shut my eyes. You had. You tossed and turned all night. Wouldn't mind, but it's snoring like a good and her, yeah? Doors off in front of the telly. Yeah, well, it's not hard these days, is it? Makes me laugh, people crying because the loaf's not risen or because someone's not redecorated the bathroom. Well, do you know what? They want to try living in the real world for a change. Then they'd have something to cry about, wouldn't they? Well, at least you don't have to put up with it tonight, Mum. What is that, Mum? Well, my play's on. Hey, I can't wait, me. Jez has got Joseph as well. Hey, and Julie's got Jake, so we're going to be on the front row, aren't we? Yeah. What is it again? Fiddler on the Roof. Ah, set in the building trade. No, it's not. Oh. It's a musical. Oh. It's about a milkman and his family living in Russia. Well, listen, I might come tomorrow, yeah? Well, it's only in for one night. It's OK. You know I don't have to come. I know how tired you are. I'll just thought I'd mention it. No, 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 I'll be there, and so will he. Come hell or high water. Uh, well, you just see how you go first. No, I mean it. You work really hard, love. I'm not going to let you down. Are you sure? I'll say I would miss you for the world. <laughs> just ignore him. Come on. I'll never get this done. Hey, you just go get your gin and I'll crack on with this. Well, I was going to work I'll through. crack on with it. Gary, will you please go? All right, I'm all going. Right, have I got no I'm going. at all? So I'll bring you back. Yes, please. <laughs> Well, I think we're going to do it. What you reckon? Might have a sneaky, cheeky one on the way home. Yeah, maybe. Well, come on, we've deserved it today. Shattered. Hey. Hang on a sec. Shouldn't that be a bit further over to the... No, it's exactly where it is on the plans. Well, if you say so. Anyway, Clive wants a quick word. OK, far away. I'm tempted to. This site's a disaster area, mate. I've seen scrapyards in better order. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Health and safety would have a field there. It's a flaming mess. We're still on the first fix. What were you expecting, a show house? Look, I'm not going to argue the toss with you. This place is a tip, and it needs cleaning up. So I should finish that wall sharpish. Find yourself some brooms. You two got a lot of work to do. I, I, no chance I'm done. Honestly, I've done my day's graft and more. I've got somewhere to be tonight. Made plans of it. It's fine. I don't need him to stay. I can manage on my own. What about tonight? No, it's okay. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, Pinky. Off you go. As long as Perky's staying to do the job, I don't care. What about first play? Don't worry. I won't be far behind you. Mate, I'm not leaving you. I need you to go on, Gary. Go on. Go on. So it only turns out that they're sisters. So what did you do? Well, what do you think of it? Opportunity like that doesn't present itself every day, does it? What's up? I must put my fag somewhere. Well, I've got some in the car. I'd have to smoke out the window, though. Val will do a nut if she smells that in there. Come on, cinders. Chop, chop. What, are you waiting for the woodland animals to come and help you? Hey! I'm serious. I want this place pristine by tomorrow. Got it? Look, he's dead sorry. But something's come up at work and he can't get out of it. But he promised he'd come. Yeah, and it wasn't his fault, all right, Fair. All right, Gary. I'm sorry. All right, but it's just been a bit full on today. He's going to try and come later on. Yeah, see? There's loads of time. I'm sure he'll still make it. Yeah, and anyway, you've got enough to worry about. Go on, why don't you get your costume sorted with Katie? Yeah, come on. I've not seen it yet. Oh, Dad, he was determined to make it this morning. Yeah, well, this morning was a long time ago. How do you mean? Phelan's pitched up with this new bloke. He was right. Anyway, 
He's the new foreman. Foreman? But Owen's the foreman. Yeah, not anymore, he's not. And they've been giving us grief all day trying to rattle that cage, especially Owen's. Honestly, I don't know how he didn't lose it. How did he seem when you went? Well, Gary? Look, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have left him, but he insisted that I come home. Right, I'm calling him. He was like he wanted to be on his own. It's gone straight to voicemail. Could be driving. Uh, yeah, maybe. I tell you what, um, why don't you two go ahead and take Katie and Faye with you? I'll keep trying him. Do you think something's happened? No, 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 but I feel better when I talk to him, that's all. And, and you know, if he's not going to go to the play, I don't want him coming home to an empty house to and after the day he's had. me. The lighter, Owen. Hand it over. This isn't the way. He gets what he deserves. Yep. Yeah, then what do we get? Well, we... We get to see his empire go up in smoke, love. No. Because then he finds out that it's you that did it, and then you go to prison as well as Gary, and that really is the end. It's the end anyway. No. Give me the lighter. Mm. The lighter, boy, I don't think. Give me the lighter. What on earth was you trying to do? Nearly. Oh, it's a bit of a to do at Sally's. Ooh, what? Oh, what? Best not say. Ah. Hey, keeps other people's secrets, it means keeps yours, no? Yeah, you see. Tells later when Faye's in bed. <sighs> Everyone's here now, except Mum and Owen. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a ring. Are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, yeah, for Faye, at least make the effort. Yeah, them here, aren't they? How was your trip to London? I loved it. Thanks, Dad. Any time. Um, I better go, because curtain's up in ten minutes. We'll get you curtain up, eh? Well, that's what it's called. <laughs> you look fantastic. Really, do I? Yeah. Dad, where are you? It's just about to start. They're really looking forward to it. Where are they? <laughs> Stinks of petrol. <sighs> I knew something was wrong when you didn't come home with Gary, not after the fuss you made about going to Faye's musical. Time to start. We can forget that now. Sorry, love. I don't know what you were trying to achieve. I don't know. The brain went anywhere. Listen, I know how you're feeling, but this would have destroyed us. You're so red, you know. Yeah, you played straight into his hands. If you hadn't have come. I help you today, you help me tomorrow. Now that's what we do. Anyway, come on, let's not talk about this now. I'm going to be here all night. Oh. It smells lingering. I'll say kids broke in and turned it over if anybody asks. Shh. Who's that? Oh, why aren't you at the thing? 
theatre. Why aren't you? I knew something wasn't right. Yeah, well, we're just cleaning it up now to make sure nobody finds out. I'm sorry. No, I should be the one saying sorry. I started all this. But listen, this isn't the time to start raking over things. Yeah, it's true, though. Torching this place wasn't your idea. But you can't blame yourself. Yeah, but I still drove you to well, it. Did you not hear what I said? Right, we can talk about this another time. Right now, we need to get this place sorted out. Go and get some sand, Gary. Go on. Right, come on, let's get this sorted. to get these clothes in the wash. They reek of petrol. What about you, Gary? What are you going to do? Um, I'll just stay here a bit. If you like. Just need to get my head straight. You go and have a bath, Owen. What was I thinking, eh? Owen, if you're going to go and have a bath and you're going to stop thinking about what's happened, then I'm going to have one. And then when they get back, we'll have an excuse ready for why we didn't go tonight, all right? Yeah. Right. And then we'll get a good night's sleep and... And we'll start tomorrow morning like this never happened. Now, go on, get up them stairs. Are you okay, Gary? Yeah. Do you want a whiskey or anything? No. No, I'll be fine. I'm ever so sorry, darling. Where were you? Oh, well, we had a problem at the mill, feeling wanted to change something. He insisted on going through it all, so... What, tonight? Well, you know how difficult it can be. Anyway, never mind him. How did it go? Good, yeah. Yeah, she was brilliant, weren't you? Oh, I wish I could have been there. Couldn't you just come on your own? Well, I was going to do, but then it, it just got all a bit tricky, so... I'm sorry as well, too. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. Are you all right as well, Gary? What? Yeah. It's just that Izzy said that you weren't feeling very well. Yeah, I've been, I've been better. Might just um, get some fresh air, actually. Well, at least not everyone let you down, eh, Faye? Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Gary? Come on. Gary, what is it? I knew someone was up before. <sighs> Gary. Gary! Gary! Don't just go back in. Your heart's going yeah, just like get a off train. Me, man, please, just get off me. Do you want me to call you a doctor? I just want it to be over. Oh. I just want it to be over. Okay. How are you feeling now? I shouldn't have left you there on your own. Oh, mate, what happened up there wasn't your fault. Owen's right. It's feeling who's to blame for all of this. <sighs> no, I've got to go. He's just wondering where I am. No, no, Move, no, out no, yeah, Move out my way. Move out my way. Move out my way. Gary! He hasn't had one of them panic attacks in a long time. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, eh? Oh, no, Owen, please, let's not go over this tonight. You you want me not to take that, Jack? Uh, Owen, stop. You know, all I wanted... <laughs> all I wanted was to give us all a better life. Look, we all played a part in this together, and we'll all fix it together. Love, there's no way out. Not now. It's game over. Are you going to be okay today? Don't worry, I'll leave the matches at home. And you'll keep an eye on Gary? Maybe a bit like the blind leading the blind one. I'm sorry, love. I'm sorry, yes. Yes, I will. Of course I will. Look, if things get on top of you, either of you, you, you just ring me, right? Mm. 
I'm always here. And it's better to go sound enough at me, isn't it, than going doing... doing something daft. I mean it. OK. Promise? I promise. I'm going to go get that stuff loaded. Why don't you take the day off, eh? Oh, yeah. Or at least go and see the doctor then, Gary. Is he? I'm fine. Gary, you're not fine. You've had a panic attack. Look, you're not going to be used to feeling in this state any mood. Not much use for anyone, really, am I? You, Jake. I never said that. I mean, I'm supposed to look after you both, and I can't even look after myself. That is not true. I'm going to work. Oh, please don't. Anyway, your dad needs me there. Well, he'll call. Look, he's not some sort of superhero, you know. He's got a breaking point as well. Has something happened? No. No, I'm just saying that I'm not going to land him in it. OK? See ya. Thanks, Alice. Oh, hiya. Hiya. It's all right, Gary told me about the panic attack. Oh, thank God, I didn't know whether to say anything or not. How bad was it? Well, I mean, you know, he was fighting for his breath and he wasn't out of it or anything and he seemed to be trying to control it and he did in the end, so that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, let's celebrate. Sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I was it this morning? Depressed. Exhausted. Well, that won't do. I'm scared he's ending for a breakdown, Anna. Oh, come on. It'll be all right. But it won't, though, will it? This mill job is going to go on for months and he won't last that long. No, well, I'm just trying to think the same about your dad. So what are we going to do? I think I'd better go round and see Valerie this afternoon when I've finished work. Well, what's the point? It didn't make any difference last time. Well, she might have had time to think about it now. I doubt that. Well, I've got to do something, and it's the only thing I can think of. Uh, you okay now? Not really. You should have made sure Phelan was in the mill before you tried to set fire to it. Yeah, well, then I'd have gone down for murder as well as arson. Well, you should have called me. I definitely did it. Well, now you're being stupid. You know, sometimes I dream about it, just putting an end to it all. What do you mean, putting an end to it all? Don't matter. Just a dream, isn't it? In all the streets, in all the towns, you have to walk into mine. Come to see me. No, Valerie, actually. Now, why would you want to see my wife? You don't exactly strike me as busy mates. Is she in? No, she's not. She's at the gym. She goes there every day in the vain hope that it'll keep her looking younger. Of course it won't. Besides, I prefer my women with a little more to them. I'll call another time. You told me about your visit the other day when you came begging. Trouble is, you're begging to the wrong person. Why don't you try me? I might be in a good mood. We know what Gary did was wrong, and he's sorry we all are. Oh, really? You don't know the effect that this is having on him. They're both exhausted. I mean, Owen, he's not as young as he used to be, and Gary, well... He used to serve in the army. He was in Afghanistan. No, I didn't know that. Mm, yeah. And... Well, it did things to him. He saw his best mate killed out there. You didn't take that very well, so... All the stress, it's not good for him at all. What I'm trying to say is... If you could just go easier on him, I'd, I'd be really grateful. I was just about to have some lunch. Do you care to join me? Have you not been listening to what I've just said? Yes, I am, very carefully, but... And I'm thinking about it. But I can't do that in an empty stomach, so... And I'm not really inclined to if you're going to be rude. Lunch? OK. Come on, then. Get that coat off. It's 
time to make yourself coffee. We'll be back on the tea. We're gonna get out there, love. Yeah. Come on, you. Gary? Gary, right. mate? Which one does it? Right, come on, get yourself off to our house. You need to get your head down for a bit. I'll be fine. No, you won't. You need to have a kip. You know, you used to be like this anyway. What about feeling? Don't worry about him. I'll cover for you. Katie, we get him on, please? Oh, I'm not an invalid. I can get myself there. Oh, promise me Yes, will. yes, I'm going. Good lad. Well, how are you going to manage on your own? I'll find a way, don't worry. See, I'm a self-made man. Wasn't just handed to me on a plate. I've always believed that you value things more. You've had to work for them. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I guess the little luxuries in life you're not eating. I'm not hungry. Shame. Nice bit of breather. Soft. Malleable. Good word, that isn't it? Malleable. Do you know what it means? It means I can shape it to whatever I want. I'm not hungry. Oh, I've had enough of this. I'm going. That's a pity. I was just about to give you your answer. <sighs> Save your breath, because I know it'll be a no. Mm. On the contrary, I was going to agree. In fact, not only will I go easy on them, but I'll release them from the contract. So is this just another one of your games? No. Like I said, so you can walk away from the site and never see me again. What's so you can do for breach of contract? I draw up another one, <laughs> confirming that they're finished on the project. And have Gary arrested as soon as he walks away? I'll destroy the footage, I'll erase all the copies, I'll do that in front of you if you like. And how do I know how many copies you've got? You don't. But in the end, Anna, much as it calls you, you're going to have to trust me. Why have you changed your mind? Well, I'd like to say it was because of the move and pleas you made about your son, the war hero, but I'd be lying. Fact is, it's a simple business transaction. Yeah, I thought so. What do you get out of it? You. What? At least a couple of hours with you. You are joking, aren't you? Oh, no, I'm deadly serious. A couple of hours, they go free. How easy was that? Do you really think I am that desperate? Well, we'll see, shall we? There is nothing to see. You make me sick. Do you know that? You make me sick to the pit of my stomach. I'll give you till the end of the week. Close the door on your way out. Hello? Gary? What is it? What is it, love? What's happened? Gary. I've got to go now. Go where? I'm going to hand myself in. No. I have to. No. What about Izzy and what about Jake? I'd better off with them. No, I won't let you. No, you listen to me. You have got to pull yourself together. Do you hear me? Do you think this is easy for any of us? No, but we're coping up. I can't, all right, because I have tried. I have tried, but it's there. All the time, just hanging over me, and I just want to get it over with. I know. I just want it over with. It won't come to that, I promise. <laughs> Everything is going to be all right. <sighs> Trust me. Mom? 
Yeah, what is it, darling? Have you seen my best jumper? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get it for you. Morning. 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 Have you got any bread left? Oh, I've used, I've used the last of it. I'll nip to the shop. It's all right, I'll go. Are you all right? Yeah, why? No, you look tired, love. <laughs> Maybe you had a little peek in the mirror lately? Look, I'm only asking because I'm worried about you. How are you? Come here. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping I'd find you here. You got a minute? I'm busy. I'm sure you can squeeze me in. What do you want? You know why I'm here. This is the address of a hotel in town. And this is a room number. I'll be there from three o'clock. I can barely look at you, let alone anything else. Well, get out of here before he... Before you what? What? You see, this is it, Anna. There's nothing you can do. And this is your only chance. Well, even if I... Even if I did what you said, how do I know that you keep your side of the bargain? You're just going to have to trust me. But make your mind up quick, because I'm running out of patience. How was everything? What? Oh, yeah, fine, thanks. Oh, what are you watching? <laughs> Open movie, dancing to One Direction. I know, I know, turning to one of them really daft moments. Hey, it's not daft. It's what it's all about, family and that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever have kids? To be honest, I think I'm too selfish. No, oh, I thought that till I had hope. What about now? Now? I'd do anything for her. <laughs> Katie? Boy Wonder. He's still ill. Anything serious, or shouldn't I get my hopes up? Do you know what? I brought a lot from you. When you start slagging off Wait. my family. I think you're forgetting who you're talking to. Well, I'm gonna let it go this time because I'm in a very good mood. Oh yeah, why's that? You managed to stitch someone else above you. And between you and me, I've got a hot date lined up. Ah, have you? Wife know about it, does she? Ah, oh, come on, Alan. Don't tell me you have never played around. <laughs> Not that it's any of your business, but you know what? No, I haven't. Well, I suppose that makes you the better man. I think you'd have second thoughts if you saw the bit I've got waiting for me. She's gorgeous. Oh, is she? Yeah. You'd like her. Anyway, wish me luck. Not that I'll need it. I'd almost given up on you. Still, better late than never. I'm better safe than sorry, eh?
Can I take your coat? No, it's all right. I can, I can do it myself. How about a drink? I want to see the contract. Yeah? All in order? So, how about the drink? Evening. You all right? How was work? Oh, you know, barrel laughs as usual. You didn't give you a hard time about Gary? A bit. Luckily, he headed off early on a hot date, as he puts it. Did you want to go on a date with that sleazebag? God knows, has to be someone desperate, though. Is that not back yet? Uh, no, I think she's on the way at the cafe. Which gives us just enough time. For what? <laughs> so I've dinner ready when she comes home for a change. Oh, your idea was your love. Yes. Oh, thank you, both of you. Come here. Let's just hope she likes what we're about to make. Oh, of course she will. Of course she will. What do you think of this place? I don't know. Yeah, I know what you mean. I've stayed in better. Nice view, though. I like looking out over the streets. Looking down on the people running around like ants. <laughs> Makes me... That makes me feel good. You sure you don't want a drink? Can I help you relax? I gotta say, if this was a first date, you wouldn't score very high on the uh, sociability skills. Luckily, I'm not here to talk. Oh, please. What? Please don't do this. Nobody's doing anything. I mean, you can always say no if you want to. So, what's it going to be? Right, I'm going to set the table. Put the, uh, the nice cloth on, will you? Yes. Can I stir? I thought you were past the monitor. And the boss. Uh, what time's she back, anyway? Uh, I don't know. She'll be soon. She can't come back yet. She'll ruin the surprise. Right, well, why don't you give her a ring and see how long she's going to be? All right, and in case she comes through that door, remember, no mourning about work, no mourning about money, and definitely no mourning about feeling. You got that? Tonight is about making your mum feel special. Hannah! 
I don't suppose there's any chance of a repeat performance next week, is there? <laughs> Well, we should do this at least once a week. Ah, good idea. Well, not on Tuesday, cos I've got choir. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh. Hiya. Come this way, love. Not yet, not yet! We made tuna pasta bake. Mm. I did most of it. Sorry if Mama, uh, Madam would like to take her seat. What's this in aid of? Well, it's for you, Mum. Why? Because you deserve it. You spend all your time looking after us. We figured it was time we looked after you for a change. Because you're ace. Oh, no, I need a shower. I, I just I smell of chip fat. It's just the greasy cafe, Ann. Five minutes. This is great. Yeah, that's right, love. It is. Don't you like it, Mum? Yeah, of course I do, love. Gary, peeled the carrots. All by myself. Mm. <laughs> you alright, love? Mm. Yeah, flippy neck. I was tired, that's all. I know, love. Mum, don't get upset, please. Sorry. Look, we're gonna be all right, kid. OK, me and Gary, we can handle it. Yeah? We are not going to let feeling beat us. Just... I don't want to talk about it anymore. You're all right. My dad's, my dad's right. Feelings are low life. Well can we just day. drop the subject? Can we? Please? I could sell some of my stuff on eBay if it helps. I don't play with barbers anymore. <clears throat> we'll be off, shall we? Yeah, I'll clear the table. No, don't worry about it, love. Just leave it. I'll go and read upstairs. Love you, Mum. I'll wash up. Oh, don't be daft, I'll love. Too. Okay. What you've done for this family, how you've kept us together. You know, we'd have been broken. Gary would have been broken if it wasn't for you. Your strength. I think you're the most wonderful person I've ever met. And I wanted to tell you tonight was about telling you, love, that you do not have to carry this family on your own, OK? Yeah? I'm here for you, and together, love, we will get through all this. Let's go to bed. Go in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've not finished this yet. Oh, come on, leave it. No, you go up. I'll be up in a minute. Uh, all right. I don't be long, OK? I love you. Jigsaw out the yard. So I need shooting. Well, would nobody lend you one? You've come all this way. Well, that sight. It's just my lot now to walk slap bang into feeling. Oh, I'm going past time now, I hear Armstrong. <laughs> oh, I heard your advice. What are you doing back? Oh, I'll get it. You went yourself this morning. Is everything all right, love? Mm. Yeah? If you're not up to it, you can take the day off, you know. <laughs> no, I'm serious. The day off now. Save you a week off later on. Morning. Sorry, I know it's early. It's just I need some work doing urgent. Oh, OK. Well, what kind of work, mate? Uh, change the locks, new bolts on the front door and the back door and the price on a burglar alarm. What, another break-in? How many houses is that? Well, not yet, no, but you can't be too careful, can you? Uh, no, no. Actually, I've had a call. Kirsty's been released. No way. 
Yeah, no conditions, no warnings. She can just turn up at my door any time, which is why I need it doing it urgently. I'm, I'm due on site now, mate. Well, can't you bump it off and just tell me you'll be late? Well, not really, no. You don't know what his boss is like. Mate, I'll do the work for you, even if I have to do it by torchlight, OK? I'll come round and we'll find out exactly what you need. But you have my word, I'll do it quick and cheap, so please don't go to anyone else. Fair enough. Thank you. Cheers, mate. All right. See you later. Cheers, Tyler. Bye. Every cloud, eh? Yeah, and if you see Jason Grimshaw or any other builder sniffing around Tyrone, Road... Yeah, you'd take him off by the knees. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what? If you'd told me a year ago, I'd be grateful about fitting a few bolts. Eh? Okay? Oh. See ya. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. I must have just caught my foot on the chair. It's a good job it wasn't a fresh pot. <laughs> oh, it's coming out lovely. Yeah, let me tap your tea up, love. Oh, no. It's coffee, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, sat the juggler. Third time it's happened today. Um, not, not that I'm having a pop. No, no, I'm just wondering if you wouldn't be better off working at Pavlov's. <laughs> what, whole dancing with plates things? Been banned. Health and safety. Greek Tony is gutted. Right, there we go. No harm done. Compo claim averted. I'm just going to get her a fresh cup of coffee. Oh, no, I'll do it. You get rid of that. Uh, Anna, mm -hmm. might I ask uh, the last time you had your eyes tested? Um, about 12 months ago. Doesn't become you, Roy. Right. You should know what? In fact, if you're that bothered, take out my wager. I no, could just give it you now if you like. No, no, okay? no I, I don't want your what money. Accidents happen. Don't, I just want to know that you're all right after last week. <sighs> yeah, it would have been better. Look, see, your eyes, teeth, they're all me on. There you go. But I'm matching orders. Find the mill. What's, why? What's going on? Ask him yourself. He's coming round tonight. Just told by text. A way to treat your staff, eh, love? Mm. Oh, Roy, I said take away. Come on, you can spare five minutes. <sighs> no work for us, allegedly. And that's all he said. There was no explanation. Oh, you sound like him. He wanted it in writing. Uh, yeah, covering our backs. I was just like, bed, yes. Hmm. Anyway, listen, if you see Izzy before I do, tell her I'll pick Jake up, yeah? Mm -hmm. But not before I've had a kip. See you, Mum. Yeah. yeah. At least I'll be able to crack on with Tyrone's job. And Patrick said, go on. Yeah, well, not it. No, the monkey. His oh. lordship was nowhere to be seen, was he? Are you all right, Anna? Oh. Don't you think she looks a bit peaky, right? I said this morning she shouldn't be working. <laughs> well, Jen is here if you want to go home. I'm gonna give it to her. She's a martyr to the course. What are you doing? I was passing. Even though. Evening, Casey. Izzy, don't push us to put the kettle on. What do you want, Pat? Ask not what your gaffer can do for you, but rather what you can do for your gaffer. Look, we can do without the riddles, yeah? Word to one syllable. That do? Always better. They don't employ people and send them home for no reason, right? A bloke like you doesn't know. So what's going on? I mean, I haven't figured it out yet. I'll bet you Anna has. No flies on air. Why don't you ask your missus? Don't suppose there's any chance of that brew, is there? Stuff the brew? What's he on about? Yeah, man, what's going on? Well, come on, Anna. Don't leave them hanging. You weren't so tongue-tied the other day. With our Val. Had quite the little chat, didn't you? Yeah, about what? You, mainly. Apparently, she was very persuasive. So my Val has been in my ear ever since. And? And you two are out. Bye-bye. See you later. Contract terminated. I wash my hands of the pair of you. Uh, what? You're cutting us loose? I'm cutting my losses, my like. You're not worth the aggro. And Gary? Never happened. You can have the footage. <sighs> Slate's clean. But I think you should let us a little look at this. 
Be my guest, but we both know you're going to sign it. I still want to know the catch. There isn't one. Well, I'm supposed to believe you after all the strokes you've pulled. <laughs> Why would I play silly beggars? I've already won. What do you say, Anna? Is Pat feeling to be trusted? <laughs> trusted? Human rubbish. Perhaps. But I'm going to make a killing on this project. That's my victory. That and seeing you two clowns potless. <laughs> oh, now come on, Tonto. Not even you're that stupid. Don't let him push your button. <laughs> I'd listen to her if I were you. Wouldn't want your mum's efforts going to waste. Sign it, please, Owen. Yeah. And we'll be left with nothing, love. Just an 80 grand loan that we can't pay back. Sign it. Come on, sign it. Get us a pen me, love. Ready when you are. My copy. Yeah, that wasn't difficult, was it? Aren't you forgetting something? Oops. Okay, out. Come on. <laughs> Your one. Oh. It's been a pleasure. All that hard work you two put in. Yeah, don't get me started. Looks real enough to me. Yeah, but looks can be deceiving. You're right, though, love. We should get someone to check it over. And what we're going to pay him with? Shirt buttons? I'll find a way. Do you reckon he'll keep his promise about Gary? I don't love your guess is as good as mine. Why would he lie? Oh, come on, Mummy, why are you joking, are you? The man does it for a living. Yeah, maybe he does, but he's won. You know, he's cleaned up. He's worked the both of you into the ground and he's left us flat broke. I'd say that's pretty much mission accomplished. See, when you put it like that, I want to lay one on him myself. I don't get you, lot. I really don't. He set you free. It's what you wanted, so why can't you just be flaming grateful? You didn't have to do that. Don't be daft. I'm sorry about losing it before. Well, I'm the one that should be sorry. Do you know, I sometimes forget what I've put you through. Yeah, well, what's done's done. And am I grateful? Love, we all are. Yeah, well, it's over now, isn't it? So that's all that matters. I must admit, though, I am surprised you never mentioned going to Val. I didn't want to risk getting yours and Gary's hopes up, so... Yeah. Well, whatever you said, obviously, at the spot, eh? Right, I'm going to put the tea on. Hey, can I help? No, no, don't be after you. Come put your feet up. Okay. <laughs> 